Hey everyone, welcome to Dialogue Choices Podcast. We're doing one of those ones where if you're listening to this, it's a bad episode, don't watch it. <laughs> it's oh, a, you don't or, listen? Yeah, don't listen. You gotta go to the video version because we're watching another something. Uh, Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase 2022. There we go. Or, or today, I guess. you can watch along with us. I don't you pay can... attention to gaming oh. news. <laughs> See, this is, this is self-care. I'm forcing you to pay attention to gaming news. That's not self-care, yeah, it's gotta... hype. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, fucking that's hype, that's the game opposite. shows are just hype shows that's not there's no value me, here this is stupid it's me forcing you to do something oh wow the perfect dark a, trailer we uh, watched a year ago that's totally amounted to stuff <laughs> don't worry you gotta, you're gonna you forget all about this anyway yeah i, I totally you gotta will. learn to be a gamer keith you gotta learn to be a gamer yeah so at the time of recording or at, there's the a day fucking direct pipeline this. between video game hype cycles and NFTs and the just the way that people buy into weird bullshit for no reason. Just like with the last week's discussion of mm. of uh, what's it called? Uh, Space Man game. There's a Space Man game? Oh, well, right. The, the Space whole, Man game, obviously. We talked about yes. it last week. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah. what it's called. The bad game I, that is I bad. I almost said No Man's Sky, which is also a bad example, which I'm a good example <laughs> of a bad thing. But it was the other Space yeah. Man that's a billion dollars or something. So basically, uh, our citizen. Uh, there you go. This is more like this isn't the, about hype. This is more for shareholders and stuff. It's for people who have a lot of money wow. and really <laughs> don't need the money that they have to be like, hey, look at this thing that the company that I half own is actually doing. And because Microsoft owns all this stuff, um, that th that's this is like a Nintendo Direct, except it's for Xbox and Bethesda. You know, you could Bethesda. just send an email. People, you people can, just read emails. You can just send an email send, that tells you what games are coming this, out. You well, put people on a don't show. read. I don't read my emails. I just skim them and then mark them as read. Ain't nobody got time. You're really selling me on this. <laughs> hey, we <laughs> no, start. it's going to be uh, fine. Let's go. Gonna, Let's watch the guy in a suit work. be stiff on stage. Maybe That's, he'll fall over. It'd be really funny. That's a lot of 18 plus warnings. How many dicks are we going to see? Uh, Well, it's Xbox exclusive, so a lot of dicks. <laughs> Exclusive oh, to Xbox, the sequel to Our Ad Astra. Aim. Oh, this is the Wait. new. This is the new from. From the Zoner, the Zoner free font. beta gameplay. This isn't even like I'm not gonna even trust any of this. This isn't even fucking real anymore. <laughs> oh, this is the multiplayer shooter one, I think. Oh, uh, why did you say that? No, it is. It's like Overwatch, but with four people. No, I saw Arcane and I was happy for a second. Of course. What? Overwatch with four people. This looks more like Left 4 Dead. Yeah, actually. I, I, I doubt it has anything to do with Overwatch even a little bit. That's that's a fair assessment. I do not like this glam gun. Look at the pink gun! How do you how could you not like it? Oh, Why hell the yeah. We're gonna have are Listen, we gonna actually, like it? The weapon skins? Weapon skins? I, like I, I, yeah, I was gonna say, cost. like, I can be a fan of like surprise pink and games and shit, but when I see a pink when I see colorful guns, I just think macrotransactions, they're ruined for me. Yes. Yeah, that is that is a fair. It was a, That's a lot of bells. Man, I was excited about Arcane Tasted multiplayer. I think these are. This is also made by the studio is that the, made. That Bray. looks like the Outsider. Okay. Oh god. That, oh, wait, vampire. that really looks like oh, the it's Outsider. Because <laughs> he's a vampire. <laughs> wow, this person's really bad at this game. Yeah, he, are you okay? I don't think they're hitting. They're playing. They're playing on a controller. So is this like uh, the hunt? Sorry. Okay. You said it was multiplayer, so I'm like, is this is this like the hunt? Hmm. I mean, I might be wrong. <laughs> what is that a flare? Are you gun? just, are you just <laughs> introducing false data? <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe. Oh no, but they have nope, announced. There it is. Yeah, it's multiplayer. There's there's the fucking it's... microtransactions gunman. She don't just jump down the ladder. <laughs> Redfall, yeah, that's the name of the game. Massachusetts. Man, I wanted a cool immersive sim from the Prey Studio. Yeah. Whoa. Fuck it. I love What's Prey so sun? much. Prey's amazing. Oh but man, this Bethesda's music. Bethesda's got to go Here mismanage go. their companies. And those who didn't, sold out. But think about it like this. This is good for content. We can play this for years. I mean, I don't know about years, but sure, we, literally we, can play it later. 
blocked out the sun and pushed back all the water. Totally cut it blocked out the sun. How? Yeah, then what? Someone's giant ass. How do you block out the sun? What is they uh, they 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 held a cure concert? Oh, shit. Mm. Okay, so abilities. So it's like I'm assuming it's it's a player. When they show yeah, the external so camera player, angles, it always it keeps looking like XCOM for a moment. <laughs> Did you see the ray tracing, by the way? Devinder Crowsby? Krau what? <laughs> okay. No, I didn't all see the puddles. thing, or more specifically, I didn't hear what you said. No, uh, yeah, the puddles are all ray traced and things. I don't care. Good for them, I guess. <laughs> I'm glad they wasted the time. Ray tracing could like retroactively unexist, and I wouldn't care. Yeah, I'm kidding. I don't actually know that they were ray tracing. It doesn't matter because like every don't, game that has ray tracing doesn't run very well, anyways. So also, why do I yeah, even yeah. care anymore? But also, it looks the same, so it's like whatever. I'm over here being like, I'm gonna turn Overwatch to low settings. <laughs> that's how you, that's how pros play. Let's just get this yep. done. There's actually Graf a too many items in. Graphics are for the in. fucking Last of Us and stuff where, half, where like you take breaks from playing it on a regular basis. Oh, fucking oh. like always, like always on constant gameplay, like multiplayer games. Graphics fucking don't matter because I'm playing the game. Yeah, and I like that ability. And there's hopefully a mechanical density and and pacing going on enough that I care about the action and not whatever the fuck things look like. So I'm not looking around. If anything, it's visual Dude. noise that oh, makes it hard cool. to tell what I'm doing. That was a cool ability. Yeah. I like, like that. I really don't like the look of the new Street Fighter because it's not clear. It's really, it's way too detailed and chaotic looking. But, but you can see even this game, the graphics, clearly. the graphics are made to be more simplistic than they could yeah, be. Yeah, as they should be. Anything multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. That's why ray tracing is a weird choice. Some kind of collective consciousness. Can be used for good things, but probably not. What? Ooh. There's the movie Twisty. I used to come here all the time. Why'd they have to mess this up for me? How long ago? That place looks like so long gone. Nah, they there's well, a lot the of vampires. Uh, they're doing some fast forward nature, I guess. Maybe. Can't wait to have this what video this get blocked song? for copyright by the, song's the way. Awful. <laughs> Slay alone, did you notice apparently? I'm gonna have to Is upload an audio for track of this first to see which parts I of it probably, get blocked sure for copyright. <laughs> Oh no. Oh fuck it. I'm done. All right. I'm not going to play a game that has like 16 M4s that I have to choose the best one of. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing that. Take me back to Left 4 Dead 1 shit. days when there was the shotgun. Yeah. And the How better hard was shotgun that? that you had that you could get, get ready later, for crafting that was on it. top of it. No. I don't want to fucking customize attachments on my gun porn. <laughs> but how are you going to care? I, Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh. Hello. Silk it's been song, a while, thank bud. God. A good game. I'm wondering about this. Oh, that looks so good. It looks like the Reaper in, uh, in Ooh, Shovel Knight. That... Oh, yeah. I love him. Uh, yeah. Look at all this. Look at all this movement tech. Here we go. This is what it should be. Beautiful. Oh, Finally, yeah, the quality <laughs> games. Like. <laughs> Speaking of readability. <laughs> look yeah. At these visuals. Uh, oh, my God. I was, I was wondering Look how this is going to turn out it's because so yeah, like, she's got her own stuff going on where she's she's this the wall jumping great. nightmare person to fight. So I'm like, what does it mean to play as her? Oh god, this is going to oh. be so fun. I'm excited. I have only watched two Let's Plays of this game, but I like... I uh, Yeah, it looks oh. really good. I don't recognize the oh. any... I don't remember any of the bosses though. Of the original game. They're all blob people with spikes. <laughs> yeah. It's the levels are, you don't have are very different, though. I've got a... When's the... it coming out? Give me a fucking yeah. date. What the fuck? It's a new I've game, right? It's not an expansion. What? Yeah, it's a new... It was, right, I, yeah. it, well, I think yeah. it was supposed Maybe. to be an expansion, but now it's a standalone or something. Mm. Is that, I will does never that mean know, it's Xbox it exclusive, out. by the way? Well, it's uh, probably coming out on PC as well. You know how Yeah, be. but not PlayStation or something. Squanch Wait, games. is that the? That's yeah. It's oh, it's Rick the Rick and Morty, Morty guy. Okay. Oh. Okay. What? I'm down. Oh. Oh, that looks bad. 
Oh, her oh, eyes. No. This, Does it look okay, bad? So, I like it. Oh, this looks I mean, awful. I, this looks like garbage. I've never seen Rick and Morty, so... Well, I mean, I mean the, her face was guns, horrifying, mainly, is what I mean. The I guns look great. I have... I These are great. I, I love the guns from uh, Stranger's Wrath. Stranger's oh, Wrath yeah. have, like, so much personality. It looks weirdly like the game I played with Bird, where you, you're on, like, a colorful planet. Yeah, the rest of this looks like shit, but the gun frame oh, it's like it's just running fucked. correctly. It's like... Yeah. Why did, I wonder why it's they... It's like running at two frames. Yeah, they couldn't get the frame rate for the trailer. <laughs> or just not use that clip? I don't know. It's, it's fine. It's, the uh, game's going to be like this. You just, uh -huh. have to, you just have to accept this. Gross. It, they just should have stayed cartoony. It looks like it would be great. Oh, that's horrifying. I like it. I like oh, the... No. Uh, like, yeah, this looks... That looked like designs. a dick. That just looked like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that gun was a dick. You can't trick me. I what I don't like is that this looks like uh it's gonna play like bio. No, what's the word? He had that like a hyper realistic butt stallion head on one of his hands. What's that game with the butt stallion? Oh, okay. Borderlands. Borderlands, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, October. All right. It's gonna live and die by its writing, and that's that's that worries me. Writing. Uh, no, it's I gonna live they, and die I by think they just stream of consciousness. <laughs> Today, we're doing something we've never done before. For the first time ever, our entire show is focused on games you can play over the next 12 months. You're gonna see more. And where the fuck does Silk Song Why have, had, why have they not done this before? Why don't you announce games in, like, for the next 12 months? Also, how high some works. of those will become lies. <laughs> also, that, yeah, yeah, like, she's just say. saying. She's just saying our announcements are usually really bad, and today we're not doing that. And I was I was more impressed life. before the number came out, and it was like twelve months. Oh fuck, that's a long time actually. That's a whole year. Yeah, cool, great, can't wait. I, mean, I thought they were gonna pull some Super Bowl shit. Like it's and you can play it right now. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna hear about the new Elder Scrolls, and that means that it would come out in the next twelve months. Uh, Looking forward to that winning Patreon, despite my best efforts. <laughs> Boy, you don't want to play Elder Scrolls Six, where you just go in the same cave every time. I hate time. Skyrim so much. Maybe they're gonna learn. No, because they were rewarded more than anyone else ever for making Skyrim. So obviously they're yeah, not going to learn. They're gonna learn that that true. was the right thing to do. Yeah. Or maybe they gave the Elder Scrolls to the New Vegas people. Look at the hands of these people, by the way. Right? They're so, profe right? Uh, they're so professional and like dedicated and pay attention to what they're saying, but their hands... I want to play Dance Central for Connect, but it's just conference giver. Like you have to do the gestures on its on the, on the rhythm. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, and the, and the eyebrows as well. How, wait, yeah. how the fuck are you going to play League of Legends on an Xbox? That sounds awful. Uh, oh, League of Legends on Wild Xbox? Rift. Yes, it does. I think Wild Rift's the mobile version, isn't it? Thank you for coming on yeah. I think, they, I think they remade League of Legends for those other controller inputs, basically. Like, it's, it's oh. not, so they're just just gonna a, put, not just a port. It's put, like a new game, kind of. So they're going to put all of their games on X. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. You probably need the fan base, right? You're probably It'll probably be like, PC remember Diablo 3? sell consoles. <laughs> It'll be like Diablo 3 on this Xbox, is, where they kind of like redid it, and it was like new. And this I liked that version console. better. I might like League better on an Xbox <laughs> with a controller. Are they gonna launch a new song with their trailer like they usually do? Is that what they usually do? I don't know. Mm, yeah, don't usually know. like when there's a big announcement from Riot, there's always like a new song that's all... I definitely feel like I have to mute this entire video's audio. <laughs> you might actually, Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's so, much, there's there's so much music in this press music. conference. Well, yeah, it's just trailers and whatnot. Well, why aren't you showing the Xbox version? Why are you keep showing the like PC and mobile versions? I don't How know, can maybe, you tell maybe, that it's maybe, not the... Yeah, I don't know what you're basing that on. Because they just showed a person using their phone. It's not how you play an Xbox game. Hmm. Yeah, but I think the... I think Xbox is probably playing the mobile version. It's a cool song, though. Is it... This is like fucking noise. What am I looking at? Hexagons. Oh right. Well, yeah. Oh that's... right. Remember fucking auto chess. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Wait, the, auto chess? The, oh, yeah, that's yeah. what this is an auto chess game. That thing that no one would shut up about for like up two months, like three years ago or something. <laughs> Wow, yeah. I, I don't, think I, I, I don't remember if I ever played a single one, but that there was so much I fucking didn't. auto chess for a while. So everyone was like, "Here's the League of Legends auto chess," and here's the like, I think everyone had an auto chess game. Everyone was getting in on that. It's Valorant. One of these days, I have to play Valorant. One of these Maybe days, when they cancel don't, it, actually, yeah. no one's gonna <laughs> force you to. We we played no, it. I, I mean, some of us played it like a probably a year ago or something. Uh, yeah, when uh. Yeah. It's like colorful. <laughs> it's kind of nice to look at. The I'd abilities a... seem kind of cool, but it still has the Counter Strike thing where everyone dies instantly. So I don't really like that. <laughs> I make yeah, that habit of just not playing Riot like, games. I just don't I just enjoy that the fights are instantly over the moment you turn a corner. Yeah, I like that sort of thing, but that's just like me. Rainbow Six. Like Rainbow Six Siege I, seemed I don't to be like until Rainbow the Six. reality of playing it mostly happened, where like Jeez. one guy would just clear all of us out. Who's this from? Asobo? Asobo. It's the new The Hunt. Oh, it's that. Oh, it's her. I know that. It's Plague Tale. Uh, Plague Tale, yeah. Plague Plague Tale? That's his name? I think so. Yeah, it's not. It's better than Death Stranding. Oh, it's like Plague it's Tale Plague siblings better, better or mean. something. Like it had a subtitle Sibling, to imply yeah. that there was more coming. Uh, it, had a, it had swarms of rats a lot. And, and you had a little kid brother. There it is. Yeah, little kid brother you gotta protect as you navigate what's basically the Black Plague, but like in hyper fantasy exaggerated form. So the entire planet is basically it... covered in rats, basically, and you have to oh, like use Jesus. fire to survive them because they scatter around fire. It made for a good let's play. I, I liked it. It was alright-ish. But it yeah, it's the sort of There's a jankiness to it and a repetition to it, and also just like a certain element of like here's a level with the one way to play it trial and error it over and over again until you do it right oh and these so flowers on. i love these flowers uh, it's not a game i would want a sequel to because i would it would i imagine it being the same game it looks like the same game yes <laughs> it looks better it looks better though better as in like it looks better oh my uh, god that's a lot like of i can, fire. I can oh, see a god, sequel push yeah. to rats. oh god it's a, yeah. it's a mean <laughs> game they did the whole they did the whole Tomb Raider arc where she's like, oh man, am I gonna become a bad person and so on? And I'm like, and she gets comfortable with killing and everything. He has not aged much. That's fine. The uh, the very next day. Requiem. Oh, it's you know it's a bad sequel when it's it's fucking subtitle Start. starts with R E. R E. Yeah. Revenge. <laughs> Requiem. Yeah. Return. Uh, Resistance. Oh, re resist. Uh, what's the bad Revengeance. one? Revengeance. Revengeance is the good Revengeance? one. Uh, is it? Oh, I yeah, because it's so absurd. It's a made up word. The, uh, oh, that makes that, sense, that's yeah. bonus points. The uh, fucking revelations is the worst one. It's like, it's a if oh, it has a story, it should have Every... revelations. You're not telling me anything. <laughs> okay, finally, we're getting some real good video games here. Man, dri I, driving car driving games have literally looked like the same fucking trailers for the I last don't... like 15 years. <laughs> Do you think so? Like I was, I yes. was uh, talking with my fifteen years ago. Buddies. I was like, "Wow, these cars look completely real," and that's the trailer. I was talking with my and then they keep, hap and then they keep happening. I'm like, "They still look real." Okay, it's just, <laughs> it's just a car commercial now. I was talking about like a, it precisely geez, because they. What is that? Forza, Forza Motorsport. What? You don't know those cars? Yeah, those are. Uh, no, I don't know any cars. I don't know any cars. Yeah, those are arena cars. They're they're sort of weird. Um. Like sim are they racing, are they rebooting it to call it the original title again? It just says Forza no. Motorsport. No, no, it's just gonna be Forza Eight. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be Forza Eight or something. I or, bet they're just gonna call it Forza, Forza Motorsport, and then next year they're gonna be like Forza Motorsport Two. Yep. That's what? It. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't we have like a Modern Warfare Two again now or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good point. You're not. You, remember, you can't reach 10. So, if you reach 10, you have, to end, so the, you have to end the series. Stupid. I love it. Forza, the thing is, anything that's not sim racing looks really, really good. But you get into sim racers, the graphics just tank, which is normal because they're... Uh, they look over, They look fine. They just look boring. I, lo I love the graphics of Forza. I want to play kart racers. Like... And yeah, see ray tracing. I, I have fun. About. I have fun when it's like fucking Sonic Transform. Oh shit! Turns into a plane. <laughs> oh yeah, well, it's fine. And you can play as Shenmue. Like look at look at how good it looks. 
There's that, nothing like you'll this You'll never look at that. Why did they put so yeah, much work into a river? Yeah, where am I going to stop Enjoy the scenery. They put you, so much work games. into a river that is sub-road level, so you won't even but these see games, it. But you explore these games differently. It's, like, it's not just racing you, like, roam around. It's not fuel. And it's like, it, it, sorry? It's not fuel of the fucking open world racer. It's just an on-track racer. You don't explore that river. Are you sure? It's Forza. You do explore. You explore in Forza? I thought you just drive on the road and then you, and there's rails oh, around it. Like is it this. just Forza Horizon that does that? Because Forza Horizon does that. You, you, that does you sound like the name you would give the open world Forza game. <laughs> Horizon. Mm. That's that's a good point. I people always were talking like, about I don't play one racing. Uh, I just, uh, fuck, I don't I just look at them. In the fidelity of our physics simulation. There was some open so ahead of us, racing game Ferrari, that no one would shut up about for like 10 years as being like the GTO. best racing game ever. Time of day here. Which one is? I don't know. I was just saying I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> oh. I think it's closed now. Probably by cart. I think it might be by Criterion. I'm just repeating shit I heard from Giant Bomb. I'm useless with this stuff. Well, the I, thing I is, I super like, don't. Really oh wow, a traffic cone has been. That was worth the effort. How much crunch yeah. did you put them through for that? Look at the flowers; they're individually modeled. <sighs> <laughs> There's something like gr just gr weirdly gross feeling about like just knowing how bad the developers probably have it, so they can just like make a slightly different game every year. Yes. That's Look at all this loving problem. detail put into these disposable trees you'll never look at. I think that's the biggest that problem That was my with the fucking January, you better like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's not just about making games pretty, it's about making these games on a cycle. And charging full price for them as well. And no it, yeah, no the, the player term. will ever see that car, but it's good for the shareholders. We are seeing it in the trailer, that's the only time it gets to be seen. <laughs> Simulation details. That's tr actually. Yeah, yeah, I oh, those are hay bales. I'm like, don't be mean to those fucking sheep. Don't put them right by the tr the ra the race cars. Like, leave them alone. Why? Sheep like race cars. Why is that in the middle of a racetrack? Because it's Forza. Why are you mixing these things? To Who wants to have loud cars going they around the that. whole time they're at a park? They do that in Singapore. They, don't they do like that. A, what? In Singapore, they have a, the F1 racetrack right around the. Uh, the and then people are park. like on like getting fucking apples and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. While they're racing, they uh, go up to. They charge a lot of money for it. I don't want to go to like imagine. a gathering where I have to wear ear protection. I wouldn't want to go into a. You're wheel not even of watching the race. What the fuck? You just have to have like deafening car noises around you while you're doing something else. You're not. You're, yeah, what you're out on a date. You're, what are like, what are humans? You're out on a date. You don't want to fucking hear apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, actually. It's a good point. But it's it's not for the experience. It's for the prestige. How do I give this okay. data a big old heaping of shut the fuck up juice? I will go to the fucking Forza theme park. <laughs> look, the, look at them modeling the gold This is the plating. longest trailer so far. They really want you to see. Look at the asphalt being all cracked. <laughs> fuck that guy. In Forza Motorsport. Car damage is reproduced That's not realistic car damage. Come on. They're never going to model realistic car damage. It's fair. Yeah. It's okay. I, I Look at the astonishing well. detail of this car's side damage that you'll only see from behind anyway. And you should race from the cockpit view anyway. Again, because you're that's playing how... the fucking video game where the mechanics matter moment to moment. You're not looking at the fucking pixel precision of the scratches. Like... No, that's what the trailers that's, are for. That's part of why these games look the same forever, is because like all the changes they do make are invisible when you play the actual game. Look at well all like, that ray traced reflections. Might as well just look He's like fucking road rash. <laughs> He's actually talking about the ray traced reflections on the other yeah, car. Yeah, <laughs> that you'll never fucking need to look you at. You never see, yeah. They do, they do look good, though. It's the, what the trailer's for. Yeah, that's, this that's, carefully pre-rendered trailer. <laughs> yeah. The beauty of our cars and tracks. Remember this river? The, the, We're back to the same river on the same oh, spot. <laughs> the water is, the water is realistically modeled. Don't you They're like it? They're re-showing the same spot of the same river from earlier. They don't have a lot of level yet. Come on, the game is going to come out in 12, 12 months. At least the water looks like it's flowing the right way. You still get video games where the water flows into like the wall and just disappears. Looking at you, city skylines. We'll see. <laughs> They're too busy making their, their 75th expansion. I just saw the yeah. Humble Bundle about that like last week. I'm like, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of City Skylines. There it is. Finally yes. over. Can I come back from the longest running <laughs> Microsoft stuff? franchise? Oh, it's older than Microsoft, apparently. Or any other stuff. Oh, it's fucking No, flying. Microsoft oh, Flight Simulator.
Uh, it also is ray traced. Yep. Is this the I don't care block? Oh my god, the all the people are dead? Thing? What happened to everybody in the Flight Sim universe? They all <laughs> they've, all been, they've all been turned to stone. You have to save them. Oh my god. <laughs> It's oh like no, a, it's that oh. game. It's a, it's a crossover between Flight Sim and Okami. Wow, I can't wait to fly biplanes. Enjoy watching a, a wolf try to pilot a plane. <laughs> she can't read. It be kind of fun. <laughs> See, the rate, I think, I think this sort of game. Imagine a where you have to do it in VR, but you don't have fingers. So you just did I pushing think... around wolf nub paws, trying to <laughs> press the buttons. I think this sort of game you have to is the hold the that... flight stick in both hands at the same time because you don't have fingers. Yeah, this is a game. Doesn't that, it look uh, good yeah, though? It looks like it would be. A, this is a much better use of ray tracing because yeah. I, I don't, I don't see this game needing to do a lot. Like because it's good, it's you good know, for calculating it's... environmental uh, lighting and it makes it look real. Yeah, so. but but this is fucking giraffes. This the giraffe's like, neck you're is not jacked. Gonna be, that's the best part of the trailer. You're not, you're not going to be like, you know, there's not like a bunch of AI. The sky is calling. There's not going to be like turns yeah. off. crazy explosions. It's just like, it's just, oh, the mountains look pretty. Like, yeah, you're flying fine. a plane. That's like, like 30 frames per yeah. second. It's fine. Yeah. It, do, it, it, it does I look really I, good. Have to, I don't have any issues with Flight Simulator. People like it. Enjoy. I'm glad they, oh my, is that a fucking pelican? <laughs> what is that pelican? <laughs> it looks like a mech. What the fuck? Andrew's turned like around on this. <laughs> what is that? That's probably the the pelican from Halo. Why are it's, you allowed to this, fly a yep, pelican in Flight yeah, Sim? Yep, not Halo yep, Infinite. It's Halo Flight are you kidding Sim. Me? It's Halo Flight what the Sim. Fuck? Look, they don't have the technology. In Listen, Halo they have Infinite. like one thing they're known for, and it's what? this one franchise what that they don't the own. That they don't what? own the developers Why for anymore. Why does Flight Simulator look better than Halo Infinite? What the? F Why? The no, that was, well, that's an add-on for Flight Simulator. Great. It does look better though. I, You're right. Well, yeah, it does look better than Halo. Yeah. Why, I like yeah. that Flight Why Sim's getting more Halo, Halo content than Halo is. Right? What? Is it, is it, oh, is it the new Diablo? Um, no, it's Overwatch 2. I was wondering it's why the, the new release, patch for Overwatch that they're I was wondering Overwatch why the release 2. date came out for this today when the their reveal is supposed to be on the 16th. It's because of this. It really does look like just a patch. It is just a patch, but it's like. I mean, yeah, it is literally uh, no, a patch because uh, it's deleting the previous so, game out of existence. So the game's going free to play. Yeah. Is it not already? Oh. No. No. Free to play is kind uh, of bad means... news, actually, because it means more yeah, hackers. Yeah, free to play is awful news. That's yeah, why, it free is... to play is why TF2 is fucked right now. Yep. Junker uh, Queen. It's also why Paladin sucks. It's also or why like, everything sucks. Or Counter Strike. Yeah. It's so basically the monetization what? incentives behind. That was, that's oh, wait, her, her ult is just Reinhardt charge? Why? That might, if, if that's <laughs> even an ult. I don't know what that is still. I haven't played any 5 vs 5. Oh, there that's it is. They Blight. They uh, got they, rid of her oh, yeah, by the way, they, they, they completely changed Orisa. She's a different oh. character now. Uh, oh, that's they also not too changed. bad. I didn't like her at all. Uh, I'm just going to take all of the experience yeah, I made... ever had with her and throw it in the garbage, I guess. Yeah, that's yeah, true. It's all I guess Doomfist is a tank now. Yes. It's really confusing. Still same kit though, pretty much. There's still a seal um, so I'm good. So uh, Ana's still oh, yeah, Ana, right? I can still I can just play Ana. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Ana. Ana feels Ana. like a, Ana feels like um, the most perfect character in all of Overwatch. Like the least necessary she's actually person the most, to ever change. She's the most played character in the whole game. It's Zetra, very skill based. She though. doesn't have reason like to it. exist anymore, and I'm sad. Who? Ana? Symmetra. Oh, she's like my no, favorite she does. She's like my favorite character, and she's supposedly literally she the worst thing in the entire game, and unplayable, and October completely irrelevant 4th. to how the game works now. Wow, more oh, nice. spiky so swords. A... The Wastelander by What's Blizzard. This? Oh, it's a Junker Queen trailer. Yeah, it's a Junker. Okay, cool. I'm glad we get a what trailer is... for a character. I haven't seen a trailer for a character since 2020. Wow, it's been two years. Oh, for an Overwatch character? A real trailer yeah. too for the last like seven yeah, characters they were oh, just yeah, like slideshows. Oh, I like her design. All right, two weapons. That's cool. Okay, I guess it's. Are those new characters as well? The Mary and the other one? I, I think. I think. I think they're just. They're just this is just a trailer. Oh no, that's definitely gonna be a character. The Junker King. I don't know. That's a big mech. I I, I like the big mech. 
Not in 13 years I like how she looks just like Ash. If only they could have like had a different facial structure in this universe. No, facial structure is not one of the axes in the diversity graphs. I like that, the, I like that there's look three different and there's characters just... now. Yeah. It feels it feels like when you're playing uh, Dynasty Warriors and it, everyone's in these oh, big kingdoms, boo. then suddenly there's like the Nanmon. <laughs> this is like two characters <laughs> yeah. from the Nanmon. <laughs> Meng Huo, I okay. think. And we're uh, fourth, I shit. guess. This one we're... Ra, Ra, shit, Lu Ra. Shit, it's been a long time. Boomerang Lady. Box games. She was fun. Mm, yeah. Box had games. Who's that? Box. Who's that? It's All what happens right. when you leave iron out for too long. A new the folks based strategy, strategy game? Ashes yeah, of the Singularity. Game. Yeah, it's a strategy game. Some lost to time. Is this voice actor? I don't actor? think the pyramids were built in the desert. She's from uh, uh, The Expanse. This voice yeah. actor. Mm. Would you reshape the world? He's a real distinct voice. What new stories yeah. would you tell? Well, this so, isn't so it's gameplay, a but the trailer so it's a, looks nice. It's a 4X game. Would you listen? Yeah, I think so. How would you lead them in this new world? Well, I, you drone. say 4X, but it's not really 4X. Ashes of the Singularity is more traditional. I mean, I'm just I'm just looking at the Real part time. where it's a bunch of massive kingdoms that have, have, it's like, how will you rewrite history? I'm like, I just yeah, see the like same trailer. Age of Empires is also like that, and it's really just a strategy yours. game. Yeah, but there was no emphasis on you changing anything. Yeah. In fact, the entire story, the entire campaign of Age of Empires is you just LARPing history <laughs> as it as it supposedly went. Which led to me as a kid knowing stuff like Technocticlan and Joan of Arc and stuff when I was like not ready. Like I was too yeah. young to know that shit and I freaked my, I freaked my teachers out. <laughs> oh look, it's Pete Hines! This guy once sent me an email and was very nice. Starting well, it now he's might doing this. First look at might have been his team. This was 2004. His eyebrows need some trimming. So Pete! <laughs> get on those eyebrows! I think that's just, just the lighting. Campaign. It's the he lighting. Was, he yeah. was Sorry, very Pete. nice. It, I'm going to judge him on the air. <laughs> on the air. <laughs> I was going to say, you look very nice, Pete. Sorry. If you're looking for something to sink your teeth into right now, we've got the Elder Scrolls Online. Where you can adventure alongside one of the ah. biggest and most welcoming communities in gaming. This year, Zenimax Online Studios is taking you somewhere that has never been explored in any Elder Scrolls game. The Elder Scrolls Online High Isle comes to Xbox. Can't you just make week. up anything? Yeah, like it's can. your world. You could just make up a whole. I mean, at this point, they are. Say, this, like it's this, never this, been explored. This, yeah. This MMO must be doing way more world building than any of like the games have been doing for the last decade because there's been yeah. no Elder Scrolls yeah. games so, since 2011. I feel like that's that's not like but, a selling point. That's just like how this thing has a billion expansions, works. right? The problem yeah, is it it's an it, MMO. It, it, so it's oh, it's like, not great. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I like I my character's max level on it. There's nothing to do. You just like show up and one shot everything and just move on. It's it's not really well thought out, but that's kind of on par with or that's like on brand, right? It's just what they yeah. Do. But you can buy horses. You could buy like a whole bunch. I of can cool do that stuff. in real life. I don't need Elder Scrolls for that. You could, but you can't buy horses that are on fire. So you know, <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, I like the logo. It's whatever. Uh, yeah, the Ouroboros, the uh, mm -hmm. the Dragon Boris. Fallout turns 25 this year. You ruined it, Pete. The legacy of this storied franchise. <laughs> I don't think he did. You <laughs> no, specifically <laughs> ruined it. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Pete. To a beloved location. <laughs> Expeditions the Pit is coming this September. I'm going to make you sit down and play Fallout 1 this time and you're going to Oh, learn. that's right. <laughs> they announced they announced an expansion for Fallout 76, The Pit, which is also incidentally the name of the first expansion for Fallout 3, but I don't think it's related. Wait, Fallout 76 still live? People still play? Yeah, that's the biggest announcement actually out of all of this, is that people still oh play this. That's crazy. This, place this game is just... And together, no this, shame on anybody who likes it. This looks like Fallout 3. What the fuck? Why does this look so bad? No, it looks better. It looks better than Fallout 3. It looks like Fallout 4. Because it is Fallout 4. I guess Fallout 4, I don't remember looking that good, I guess. 
Oops. No, it doesn't look that it good. It looks very yellow. But I, I did a, I did watch an <laughs> Up Is Not Jump video today about Fallout 3, so I can verify this does not look like Fallout 3. No, yeah, yeah. Fallout okay. 3, Fallout 3 looks like Oblivion. Phasing. Yeah. Because it was Oblivion. This is still not what I would expect from a More game that came out. More copyright music to talk over. Yeah, yeah, basically, if it's not Pete Hines, you can mute. I mean, you, I you, guess you, like, the, you like that one time Green Day ripped off this song? Yes. Mm. I've been waiting a long time for this. It's the same fucking song. How did they get away with I like, that? I like how <laughs> I like how you're play. You just you you're you're trying to talk over a copyright song by yeah. Singing why a is there more Fallout? <laughs> why are they basing a Fallout seventy six expansion on the bad expansion of Fallout three? Because it's cheap. Why? Why it's wouldn't it be made? Why wouldn't it be based on Point Lookout, the only good one? Because, because they can't monetize it. And <laughs> At least it's not Operation Anchorage, I guess. The role genre with oh my god! That's, that's just a hallway you shoot through, and then you get an invisibility oh, look, they're talking... armor. Oh no! <coughs> <coughs> I thought they were talking about Elder Scrolls, but no, they're just. My good friend Todd Howard will be here to reveal more. Todd Howard is gonna show up. RPG. Oh man, that guy's still around. Uh, yeah, he doesn't look as nice as Pete, though. Todd. <laughs> Is there, like... Couldn't that have been, like, a contract to get rid of him or something? <laughs> He's, like, the owner of that whole place. Another fourth a game? Come on. What yes. the fuck is this? I look at the want okay. another one. All let's right, let's play a game. Them. Let's see who can name the most cars that are going to show up. Uh, That's a Celine. That is a Dodge. The other one I couldn't see. It's a Lambo? Nope. That one's a Hot Wheels. Oh, they're all. Oh, hot they're Hot Wheels. Oh, this is no, no. This that, is that's all a crossbow. Is it? Uh, they're no, loosely this is, based off. Of, this, wow, this, this is, is all, all these Wheels fucking cars. covers. When's the Where Is My Mind cover coming? I'm gonna call it now. Yeah, this is like track mania, except this is such a sad song. It's really weird to do this to it. Fucking pop punk somewhere over the rainbow. Like you just don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Why, this, why would this you? This hurts my hexag. No, it's not hexag. This, this actually hurts my soul a little bit to do a pop punk cover of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. This actually is a... I, I'm not opposed to a Hot Wheels I'll play a, I'll play a fucking Hot Wheels great. racer. Yeah. I'll play a Hot Wheels racer. Well, this that's is, this is like This is like all those custom maps of GTA V that are fun to play, but way too fucking frustrating to actually find or launch or yeah. play together. So if they could just make a game instead, so we don't have to ever install oh, GTA V again. It's a very, it's a very <clears throat> on and off kind of experience, though. Sometimes it's amazing, but other times it's terrible. It's very yeah, difficult to Almost like it should off. be made by you like have to... good level designers instead of a bunch of random people, and you just hope that they did a good job. Yeah, but yeah. you have to buy Skull. fours of five, which I don't want to do. Uh, oh, that was an expansion. Uh, no, it's not a dodo. What has a dodo in it? Dodos are dead. That is a dodo. Is that not a dodo? Dinosaur. No, this is a dodo. Look at the two dodo. Dino DNA. It got dino DNA. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, oh that one's got saddles the dodo? on it. Uh, Star oh, Fox Adventures 2. That. Star Fox Adventures yeah. 2! <laughs> Looking like that would be quite something. Oh, they ruined it. Vin Diesel! Oh, it's Vin Diesel! It's, a, it's another what? fucking Vin Diesel video game. <laughs> Remember when he had two games come oh, out the same ready? month? What is this? I wasn't, I wasn't ready for Vin Diesel to show up. That's great. <laughs> oh, I think I, I've already heard of this. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I so no. unfuck I had, give. Wait. <laughs> I hadn't, they made I hadn't a heard sequel. of this. They made a sequel to Ark? Did they even finish Ark? Fuck Ark is so boring. They, they did, yeah. That's so bloated it's already. Art. You gotta they, feed the dinosaur and then you like sit on your ass for 12 hours and maybe it'll yeah, like you later instead of you Ark instead has of playing so a many features and, and content. It really needs trimming. It, does its interface still look like it was made in fucking Gary's mod? Oh, I was gonna say this looks like Alien and it is. Oh, is this Alien? Is it a or, new or Alien or game? It, no, I, th I think this is that horror shooter that they had that was announced like three years ago. Oh, it's like it is Geiger, Geiger influenced a lot, but this is like, this is old news for a while now. Oh. But I guess it's gonna yeah, finally it, come out. It kind of looks like Prey, <laughs> the first one. Oh yeah. Okay, so the idea is I that it's just that. like body horror <laughs> stuff. You're just like, ah, everything's just, gross and yeah. meaty, and I don't well, yeah, like it. Yeah, it's all HR Geiger oh, okay. stuff. Oh man, he looked uh, so good at the beginning, but now I don't. I'm not sure. Blah, blah, yeah. yeah. 
Would you like to swallow this tongue? Or just I mean, it a looks, light visual. It's, I guess it's, it's, it's long enough to floss you. <laughs> at least Some it's of, visually different. At least it's visually different. Yeah, yeah. I guess is what makes it nice. It's just I some of the know. shots are really good, but I think gameplay you, you're not going to focus on the. Goodness. Yeah, I've, it it didn't look like it was going to be a fun game. It just looked like it was going to be a neat looking game. It, look, it's a choking simulator. It's it's not supposed sure. to be fun. Hey, another one from Kepler. We saw them as saviors. What? How do you read that? Instead, Owl. They unleashed a pestilence. Uh, a four four. Hmm. No one yet That's a very big turkey. God. I, for one, intend to find out. Wow, that's a lot of uh, female leads. I it's think skeleton like, more than it. I think like more than half the games we've seen have had female leads so far. Nice. I didn't. I hadn't. Well, I noticed because I'm not being represented enough in video games. Oh anymore. yeah, you would. You would. I feel that yeah. my placement in this medium is uh, tenuous now, and I am uncomfortable with it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what what kind of game is this? Am I being replaced uh, by women's? Oh no, <laughs> by one I fear. Mean, if I hadn't seen the previous t logos, I would have assumed that this oh. was a... Oh, until then, I would have assumed that this was a uh, Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, I was yeah say, it look, feels very much like it. Creed. But I think oh. it's a, uh, no, more than... Now was that Souls. a dodge roll? It's got, it's got, <laughs> it's got, one, yeah, it's got one boss fight. Is There's this... a lot of Dark Souls <laughs> as well in it, but I don't... Ew, why? You oh, see yeah, that? That's, <laughs> a, that's, that's some Souls right there. But then again, you, Assassin's oh, Creed. Would you okay. like to Listen, would you like spikes. to dodge, lock on and dodge roll? Let's go. Wow, this frame rate looks awful. By the way, is are they okay? Flint they not... lock the siege of dawn. There's already a game called Flint Siege lock. Dawn. I think you're stealing that. I think you can't do that. that I like the cat. Though. Can't wait to or the Fen make sure and buy the. <laughs> Yeah, make, make yeah. sure and buy the special edition that comes with the statue of Oh, that. they're doing the Trico thing. Where they're chicken mix, legs. They have chicken yeah, legs. It's, that thing's Trico. It's extremely Trico. I don't know Trico, sorry. Uh, the I Last Guardian? I that means. Mm -hmm. Don't know. I'll believe you. The big bird cat <laughs> thing that you had to deal with the whole game in the game they made after Shadow the I didn't play Last Guardian. Yeah, but it's the only visual you would know about it is the cat bird. Uh, Minecraft? The cat, the, the cat bird kaiju. Oh, it's wait, a new Minecraft. Minecraft 2? It is definitely Minecraft. From the creators of Minecraft, it is not Minecraft 2. Has Mojang made anything else but Minecraft? No, they, they, they have made the, the storytelling games. Well, I guess... The storytelling. What are the name of... Into our shared story. Some legends tell of peace. And the beauty of simplicity. All right, this is getting a little too much. When's the part where I build like big giant Some dicks out of uh, sponges? They're pixelating the clouds. <laughs> yeah, that's the, how Minecraft. The attempt, the attempt to make like high fidelity Minecraft feels weird to me. It, it does. Yeah, it's yeah. like all the visual mods I don't like. That's the like that's Minecraft with invading. ray tracing. It's just and like shaders. It's just like a weird choice whenever people do it's that. It's an uncanny valley of game. You gotta, you gotta make it look good. These are the new... Uh, you say that I actually wrote an article about why a game that was like Minecraft but more realistic was like in the uncanny valley and the developer like was sharing it around. Back Whoa, in my this brief is, time this is like of, of... Elden Ring but Minecraft? Like blogging. No, Elden Ring is already Minecraft. Oh, you're that's just, right, you that's are right. just word souping me now. <laughs> it looked like a fucking war photo for a second there. Oh my god. Uh, oh it no. World? Oh, it's cube. Oh, I don't like the look. My. Oh my god. Wait, no, this is oh. Minecraft? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's a, oh, it looks this like, is a they, different they, this yeah. is a different game. They have that Minecraft Diablo look like. Legend. Yes. Legend? Okay. <laughs> Action strategy game. Was it Pikmin? Is that why they had the Action strategy? They gave yeah, us a little idea like, of what the game actually is. It looks like, like it was a Pikmin because you're 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 amassing it like an, there was army an army to yeah. fight. Yeah. 
I thought it might be Pikmin. But you're also base building, so there's like base building stuff, which I imagine means there's probably like, in order to get more people, you need to have resources or whatever. Mm. I wasn't ready to be like, oh, I don't like why they do, I don't like, I don't get why they do this with these pre-rendered trailers. And the actual gameplay came out and it also was like, oh, why do they do this? Yeah. I didn't like the, the way it looked, but then if it's a strategy game, then. Oh, <laughs> oh that Titan Bye. just fell. <laughs> wow. I think that glass is like impenetrable. Satis yeah, glass factory? doesn't break. As... Oh, satisfactory is a good call. I don't what? know. It doesn't. The graphics don't, don't look like satisfactory. satisfactory. Just, just a lot of other stuff did. Uh, it's, no, it's it's probably the the that game that was like Minecraft with a uh, in space. <laughs> you what? shoot seeds into the ground. <laughs> Mech gardening. Farm, damn you, farm <laughs> like. <laughs> It's the new so farming it's simulator 2222. It it is it's just the base building <laughs> typical this thing, is the, but with a, the, a This mech. is the slightly terrifying aesthetic of like ex military stuff being used for farming and everything, which is like oddly sweet but also yeah. terrifying. You explored. You uncovered a mystery. Or you look okay, at so yeah, it's, it's it's your usual like post Minecraft oh. like crafting world. Yeah. We could do it with friends? Of course. I, I call purple. Fuck you. Light Who, who's this from? Here. Uh, none of Microsoft. your business is not going to be good. Just forget about it. It could it, be good. Yeah, that could be fine. No. My dear frontier. Let me see. Trying to. Oh, crap. I can't find a reference to it. Oh, my God. Look at all these furries. Now we're talking. Is and this... also, we have a look. This, this sounds like uh is it the song i don't know actually it, it sounds know. like the hives hmm tick Maybe. tick boom what are, are those lanterns oh okay oh it's like ah it's like royalty free tick tick boom i don't like it oh yeah oh that's hey, this must be real I mean, I mean, real double uh, i don't like that either that good. wasn't a cool effect at all no <laughs> No, yeah. that was not. That's like fucking um, Windows Movie Maker. Like, that's good. Like, I expect this thing to end with the movie Windows Movie Maker blue credits. Yeah, this looks very indie. That was just such a weird it's choice indie, to, yeah. for the trailer. Gun, what a wow, gun, terrible name. Gunfire Reborn. All right. Well, I'm going to forget about that game instantly, fine. except for the part where it <laughs> hurt me that it sounded like the hives too much. Good job. You can play it with Game they Pass. Oh, I maybe. just want to listen to the hives. I wonder if there's going to be like a, a, a surge of games, like indie games like that, that are just cannon fodder for uh, the Game Pass. Because if you want like a There's an incentive little... for that. Yeah. If you yeah. can put something on schedule, then you can be on the Game Pass. And you don't yeah. have to, and you and you make your money in advance, essentially, so you don't have to worry about actually making a compelling game. Anyone here? This is well, the new Lovecraft game. Well, how much money you make in advance, right? Would you like I told you it's the new Lovecraft all? game. <laughs> Oh. You can tell from the gothic whatever. Oh, is this wow, a, that was a, that was like a quick a switch. Click? Nope, yeah, apparently it's a platformer. It's, it's, a, it's probably, a, probably this, oh combat. I was about to say it's probably in the style of like limbo and stuff, but then limbo, that was yeah. limbo. Yeah, is it a metro? Is it or a, a little nightmares? It's probably probably a Metroidvania. I was, I was thinking limbo again. I was thinking little nightmares first. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a cinematic a platformer until he started hitting things. Now it's probably a Metroidvania. I would like it to be puzzles. I like puzzles. There's not even a hint of a puzzle. <laughs> I know. Yeah. He's fighting a guy Cause with guns. Because it's Lovecraft. It, Come on. Combat's a weird fit. Yeah, puzzles yeah. makes more sense than combat for a, a cosmic horror. And it's just a big fish. Silly angler fish. You're supposed to be underwater. <laughs> Benedict Fox. Give him ears. And it's and we'll the talk. last case. They're starting with the last one. Don't you know you need to Let's have a second game? So, so in the event that it doesn't go well, it's the last case. So of the, course, the, yeah, the sequel, sequel is the penultimate case. The it's a prequel. Yeah. <laughs> the last case minus one. Bonjour, everyone. I am excited to be here today to tell you more about Interior Nights' first original creation, As Dust Falls. 
It started with the desire to create Wait, who's who's interior what does she say? All interior of falls? Can enjoy I am struggling. Because stories are brilliant. My, those you hands are very distracting. That help us understand what is the, the... Breaking beauty of life? She doesn't. Oh, that is not a great looking picture. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it's this kind of art. I think I've seen this one before. Is it a new announcement or? There was a trailer. We saw this, though. Remember the last time we did this sort of trailer look at podcast? Did they? I don't even remember this game. Man, this must have been like no impact on me. Because it started out and we were like, oh, that looks really good. And then all of a sudden, those sort of low frame rate animations start happening. And we were like, oh, no. Oh, emotional? I'm out then. I don't need to deal with that crap. Emotions. That's what movies are for. This is not David Cage. It's good. They should have started with that. This is a game that is not made by David Cage. I don't play games that feel things. Oh, wow. I See, thought they ran that over. It but was this one that we saw. Saved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just a it was this one that we saw. Those people were... Dark 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 yep, they're 2D. I like the art direction. Uh, what? But they're in 3D cars? Uh, Have you not watched anime? That's how anime works. Anytime there's a spaceship, <clears> it's 3D and it's really jarring. This has to be more work for oh, character it... models. Yeah, but, but it's a stylistic I don't think I like choice. It. <laughs> you know, you could have just made a movie. Like you clearly hired actors and Oh no, like, these, these are, are modeled people. These this is this is modeled after real actors though, so it's not fully drawn. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a so it isn't necessarily a lot of work. Yeah, so why didn't you I mean just it's a lot of individual pictures. That's a lot of yeah. fucking paint over. That's a it's a lot of probably, work. Just to, you can know. probably mo train AI to do it. Uh, train AI to do it. I bet you uh, could. Uh, the weird wobbly hair to try to make it yeah. look less weird. I like it. it feels like every scene is a fight to make the, the art style like look less jarring, and it's not working. Oh, that's a good call, actually. Uh, no. But it probably would work when there's more exposition-heavy dialogue. Like when they're talking just for a while and you're just... Oh. They should have had subtitles, by the way. This, this looks is, like uh, it's supposed to. This looks like it's supposed to be tense, but it looks hilarious. Yeah. This isn't gonna work for me at it all. It looks I don't comically think. bad. No. Yeah. Uh, this is a bad choice. I remember this reaction when we the... saw it the first time. Uh, is that the kid from the like? I want to be a serial killer. It's gonna try to do the up to eight players. It's gonna try to do the man of Madan shit. Or maybe just we'll people voting works. for the next. <laughs> That, this, oh, this is them having a budget competitor to to Microsoft uh, to Sony's fucking guy. Uh, <laughs> Until Don people, super massive. There we go. Not to be mm. super. Not to be confused with super giant. Who's the, who's the... ten oh, this, million this players? The game hasn't come out yet. Oh, it's about a battle royale. This is Raid oh, Shadow Royal. Legends. Not a, no. a blade point. It's probably it's probably coming over from. Okay, Korea could you stop with the flashing? I'm trying to read stuff. No, you, need, you, you can't. If it has a lot Reading of players, is but isn't out yet losers. for us. Oh, good call. Yeah, It could be a South Korean game or something. Mm -hmm. Well, then I'm not going to play a game that already has 10 million players. I'm not joining They're that. all better than you. <laughs> they're, they're all yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I'm not going to sit there and get beat up for like fucking six hours. No, thank you. This does look like it plays like an MMO. It's a, no, it's a it's a battle royale. Really? Yeah, they said it's a battle royale game. There's no way those are. You can't uh, do that. I'm, I'm just. Do you see how laggy Dark Souls is, and it's just two or three players? Imagine that with a lot more. I don't think the graphics here are going to look good enough to be laggy. Like no, but the problem, uh, like, I say laggy as in internet connection. Like, how do you detect hits? You know what I mean? That's why I'm saying it probably uh, plays like an MMO. You click and you wait or you tap a button. I think it's more like, like a MOBA. I think it's like a MOBA battle royale. Oh, MOBA. Yeah, MOBA is an MMO. It's like an MMO. Yeah. yeah. It's it's just a MOBA battle royale, which is probably why a lot of people play it. Because it's probably yeah, free. Yeah, because it's easier. Yeah. Yeah.
Not that I dislike that sort of gameplay, mind you. Oh, okay. This is good looking. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Okay. This does look good. This is like a. I love the text filling it. Okay. I like the yeah, proper usage of uh, usage of comas. This is a good sign. This looks great. It does look good. <laughs> yeah, this, this, looks, this looks good. Oh, that doesn't look good. Everyone's it looks so like that guy's flesh dead, wound. But yeah. oh, that guy's definitely dead and naked. Didn't uh, he just say, "I'm sorry, Father. There's nothing to be done. He's dead." What is this translated from Japanese? No, that's probably how people back then used to talk. They didn't no, know how to there's nothing to be done. People don't say that. Well, oh, this is the new Obsidian game. Learned language. This is the new game that Josh Sawyer is working on. That's why it looks good. It's an RPG. Oh my god. Well, it looks like a. It looks like so far the best game so far. Oh my god, that guy's head's on fire. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this it looks, does look that looks great. Good. It does look very good. Apart from that one line that sounded like it was from Japanese. And of course, it had the comas in the right places. I think it's, I think just middle age English didn't sound very good. Yeah, it might be that. Or I'm just being picky. Because I am. Oh, I was really excited. I thought we were going to get to play Punch Out. <laughs> I was super excited. Oh, no, they're doing the Fallout, the Fallout 1 introduction thing. I don't. Or maybe not. Oh, this is oh, the, grounded. Oh, yeah. it's the Obsidian yeah. game. I still haven't played it. It's uh, grounded. That's the. But they're finishing yeah. it, huh? Maybe we'll play I, it. Yeah, I think it's finally point. reached its. I think it's reaching its 1.0. Would you like? Would you like to experience arachnophobia? They're I just, just enormous. The game. <laughs> it's honestly not that bad, but it is definitely a game that, like, like all of these games, it requires you to be really good at patience like you have to have the patience to slowly get to fun stuff right like uh like it's showing a lot of this cool stuff but the first like six hours of this game are very slow and very boring maybe they fixed it so no mm. they did not well i mean like in the future I've been active, when I've, this is out <laughs> oh i i was gonna say i've been actively playing it this this it's is a, a new it's I think all early access yeah, this is the new expansion that, or not expansion, but the new content that came out. Yeah, because it's, I think it's still not out all the way. Yeah, it's still. My response was just, who asked nope, it's for this? it's apparently out now. Game previews out. Microsoft asked game. for this. Now? Actually, I don't know. I think out? they were developing it. They were developing it before they got acquired. The full story. I, was I just do confused. wonder how they make I the decision. I was just confused by the choice of this being an Obsidian game. Yeah, that's true. There's several but then again, they also had like Armored for Warfare. Obsidian, and it's not this. The the maybe the publisher, like the publisher asked for somebody. Well, the publisher and is Obsidian Microsoft, like, right? There's just yeah, but they were working. How many people are subscribed to Xbox Game Pass? Why do they keep saying ten million? Oh, oh that, that's a good here. call. Maybe that is what it is. Oh, are they doing like, some creative bullshit? Yeah, like it said, join 10 million players. In Grounded? There's not 10 million players in Grounded? Fuck off. There's no way. Like, unless you're talking <laughs> about Game Pass. <laughs> <coughs> Baby robot. <laughs> I'm thinking of like a baby that that talks in auto tune. That's what I thought. I'm like, I'm looking at this fucking trailer and I'm like, this is going to be a top down camera angle, isn't it? Or is it? I can't tell. I can't tell either. Now they have awakened. It just gave me the well, vibe that the whole game's played top down. We'll find out when they show some gameplay. That's well, they're thinking. fighting, so. I am not their hope. It's actually a text adventure. <laughs> oh, this looks like origa origami. Oh, okay. Is this an origami sequel? Oh, it's just the. It's Aragami like 3? I think 2 came oh. out already. Oh, you can walk on shadows? That's neato. Uh, Actually, so Andrew, you can walk on any wall. They're, it is not They origami. were sticking to the shadows because for fun. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. I, I assume you're right. Oh, I was like, oh, that's... You can fight a billion bastions. Er Erevan? Erevan. Erevan. Yeah, I'm not much for third-person stealth. Well, but the story's good. Really? Go have it. Not when it's the whole game. This person oh, is dead. I might be dead. I oh, this is the new Witcher game. Also dead. No, it looks very low graphics. It's not the Witcher. No. But that looks like a bar ghast. Oh! Is yeah. that a necromancer for Diablo? It's Diablo? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, it's Diablo Immortal. Crap. That's why uh, it looks bad. <laughs> don't you guys have phones? Don't you guys have phones? That is or the game, money, isn't it? Dude. Don't you guys have wallets? Because freaking hell, the in-game economy that they have announced. Just brutally. I just don't care about the Diablo. Like, was, I think it's like $150,000. Oh, not just that. It's like, like there's... You, you basically have... Would you like to you, grind you, for well, loot while mostly engaging uh, they, with the same gameplay verbs for hundreds of hours? Yeah. Yeah, they said they said it was like in order to fill every uh equipment slot you need like hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Or yeah. ten years of gameplay. Or that too, yeah. Just to fill every it's slot. Not ten years playing a game. What, do you, what does it's that mean? Ten years of gameplay time. What are you running around half naked? Uh, it's just I no. Think I think it's the game. best in class item. Oh. The, and yeah, the, I was the like, best, what the fuck did you say? Yeah, the best class. Scorned. Marked as a living sacrifice to this profane knowledge. This doesn't look like, like a blizzard. Percent. What I, is I this liked, a game? I liked it better at the, the beginning when there was evil wolves and I didn't know it was yeah, Diablo yet. Yeah, I like. <laughs> this doesn't look like a Blizzard uh, animation or a full, you know, FMD. Yeah, hey, there you go, Keith. Just make that you get game. a werewolf. That's some, that's some big that's a, hands. That's, a lot that's another werewolf. class. <laughs> Werewolves are so fucking rare in video games. Diablo, who has one? Yes. No, it's a werebear. A werebear. Oh my god, that's a very big zombie. No, you can be a werewolf in Diablo too. That's the other form. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> actually Diablo 4, not Diablo oh. Immortal. That looked. That didn't look very oh, good. Oh, there's it, the old in -game. character select. And there's the druid. It must be. It must be in maybe game. He, cut maybe scenes. he'll turn into that wolf. Wait, new, why does that. Why did it, Wait, like you can't Manson. just keep saying new class, the one from before, I'm over and over again. I'm so confused. Yeah. <laughs> How many times yeah. has the necromancer been the, the new class? <laughs> Well, well, look, times, Diablo 2 was really popular, and we just could never live up to it, so... <laughs> why is the why is he never the starting class? He wasn't too. He was one of the, yeah. corruption and evil as she fights to reclaim our dark gothic world as her own, and it's up to you to stop her. Now, Diablo 4 is the culmination of Andrew, the, it's up you to stop it. the Just get to the stop important it. information. The Was that the druid on the right some... at the campfire, yeah, and does he have a cool wolf form? That's what matters. So let's dig a little deeper by <laughs> watching for the first Don't time buy the game just for the cool wolf form, though. <laughs> well, While hearing from a few of the many people behind the game. I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to see it on Twitter. Fair point. Fair point. Everything you see was captured on yeah. an Xbox Series X, or so I've been told by this marketing. <laughs> this pre-rendered cutscene was played on an Xbox Series. That's definitely a dream. Nah, these are not. These are not pre-rendered. Wow, this looks awful. Are you going to tell me that the game's just going to randomly Remember cut Asriel? between different worlds all the time? Why is it doing that? <laughs> terrible gameplay. Yeah, terrible gameplay. Look at all these cuts. How are you going to play a game that keeps cutting like this? Yeah, the actual game. This is awful. <laughs> Yeah, this is some bad gameplay. That's a lot of spiders. That's a lot of spiders. Bear form. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a bear form, so he probably has a wolf form. Oh, that guy has two wolves. Yeah, he does have two wolves. That's the druid. So the third one's inside of him. No, the third and the fourth, actually. Wow, it looks just like Diablo 3. You know, it, I, can't, I, I, I can't believe how it crazy look, it is. Yeah, it does look very much like a modern Diablo style game. I always felt that Diablo 2 had something going for it with a sort of very cool focus on single target attacks. 
that many enemies had or many classes open had. world uh, uh whatever no. that means <laughs> whatever yeah whatever that means like was diablo open world i don't even know it, it's procedurally generated so there was already was a structureless melange of like whatever like find the cave yeah. find where they put the cave this time so like I don't well, know yeah, but at least like you're at least you're in a specific area. I don't want to like go to I don't want to be like stuck doing Elden Ring things where it's like, ah, you need to travel all the way back to the desert land to go get the thing. And like, no, fuck. Oh, that's how Diablo works, though. That's you need to no, go. It you, it, Diablo's yeah, a linear it's always story. In my you know, always. Oh, no, linear, going though. back. You, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I don't want to go back. I don't ever want to go back to an area in Diablo. Like every time I yeah, beat an area, I'm like, oh, thank that's God, true. it's over. Like, I'm done. <laughs> You see that sort of gameplay where you attack one enemy at a time? I, I find that more engaging. Huh. That is a... That's a lot of enemy. They sure are spending a lot of time on the not druid. And this sort of multiplayer... Yeah, this is what the open world is going to be for, is they, they have, like, players join you, other players. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they were talking about being some kind of MMO. Diablo 3 had this in concept, but they never implemented it. I remember. They called it like an MMOR ARPG, which is just hard to say more than ever before. It's an MMORPG. The A is already there. Like, there's no MMORPG a. that isn't A. A is action. Like, a more every... massively multiplayer turn based RPG. Yeah, there's nothing like that. Everyone takes turns individually. What if there was, PvP, what if there was RPG, a massively ARG? Uh, what if there MVP, was a massively multiplayer like, turn-based RPG that worked like like D and D, where every six seconds a choice happens? Uh, like you all, you all, be, you all, pick, you all of, pick an action simultaneously, and they all play out simultaneously every six seconds. So this means that Diablo 4 is going to come out in the next 12 months. Apparently. Except it's Blizzard, so who knows. Yeah, that's a good point. Overwatch 2 has gone great so far. Can you imagine being... Can you imagine how they, uh... Uh, they, they really, that's just the rune system. They really took to heart the, the whole thing about Diablo 3 being a rainbow kind of... This is the legacy of Final Fantasy X. It's still infecting games to this day. Just to see millions of people really enjoying. Was Final Fantasy X the one with the hit the sphere grid? Uh, which is it's very popular in this genre, though. That's what the the skill tree. In, the, the, the skill tree in Path of Exile is just the sphere grid from Final Fantasy X. All right, oh, bear again. Bear. Still wondering about the other form. Didn't finish it yet. They're not going to show all of their cards. You got to buy it first. Furry bait is a market. Like, if they don't show the wolf form, then they're just cutting off their sales. That was the end boss. That last scene was That's the end boss. That's what they're holding off on showing this whole time, is that the person who summons the, the ghost the ghost fox in Overwatch is, is just going to be an anthropomorphic fox lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sea of Thieves? Yeah, Sea of Thieves. Oh, no. That game's already out. Yep, so Look, an expansion, okay. I guess. Let's just... Look, it's the only good thing Rare's made in the past 20 years. Give it to Is them. It good? Let them have this. You can download People a second tell me copy it's good. of I've the never, free game. I've literally never been able to play it for more than like an hour. I definitely played the ripoffs. They were not particularly good. Oh, now we can customize our cabins. That's, that's good. <clears throat> I get it because there's Classic like the boat, joke. Big boat face. It, yeah. It's interesting that they didn't go for a sea chanty. Isn't that? I don't think they know how to for? make a sea chanty. Yeah, they're trying to. Is but this, this a sea chanty? chanty? I don't it know. Is not. No, because it doesn't have that rhythm. It's Look, the it's a mark of the it, Yeah. Over thirty million players. It has even more players than ten. This is, <laughs> this is more than Battle Pass or whatever the pass. Oh my is god. Called. You know why? It's probably because I think it's uh 
I think it's also I think it's also on Steam. Isn't is this game isn't this mm. game kind of structureless? You just kind of make your own fun yeah, or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, there are like missions you can go on, but it's really nebulous about what. Like, but you just like kind of show up and it's like, all right, guys, what do you want to do today? I got like three missions on this bounty board, and it's like, okay, well, let's do the one where we go to the island again and find the three <laughs> objects. Like, it's it. it Very literally encouraging is that. use you of go... again. Oh, her face is terrifying. Yeah. It's it is unfortunately a repetitive kind of game. Like you go and you do uh -oh. the same four missions, but in different variations. So it's like, oh, but this island, you need four of the books instead of three scrolls. And you're like, OK, cool. Now, this is oh, the Alice Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland port I'm looking for. This art looks good. It's extreme. Yeah, it's extremely Alice in Wonderland, but with voxels, sometimes voxels. Oh, it's my God, voxels, that is not very, that's not very voxel. Uh, something looked more voxely before. Well, I mean, those guys. This are, is all voxels. Those, yeah, that's why I'm confused when it suddenly switches to a completely different art style. It's not voxels. You guys don't know what voxels are. That's fine. <laughs> that's not it's voxels. Scary bird. <laughs> Did you play Bioshock Infinite? Oh, that's nasty. I'm very confused about what the. Yeah, like, why is some things look. Raven yeah, off. like Some under her like under her mask, real? it looked like weirdly photorealistic gore or something, and I'm like, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Maybe when it's not cutting rapidly, there's like a more co more cohesion to the what they're doing with the art style. Probably, mm. I would was, be willing to check it out. It was it cool. was confusing at moments. Console launch exclusive. Whoa. It means Finally. it's an Xbox exclusive, but some, you know, some reason to own an Xbox Series X. That's confusing no, phrasing. Be oh, hey, Inside in Limbo. Mentioned those earlier. It's confusing phrasing because it makes it sound like it's going to be the opening exclusive on their new console that they apparently are having. <laughs> Would you like some hexagons? Those are voxels. <laughs> Uh, Ugh, bad onion. <laughs> oh, that onion just pooped out a person. Is or, it a uh, person? Why? I don't know what it is. It's a thing. Or, it, yeah, it does look like uh, a fly. I like that. Uh, uh, well, that was a trick. <laughs> oh, it's a puzzle. Yeah, oh, puzzle platforming, so you're gonna need explorer to explore. Yeah, game. it's a it's a game where you play with a lot of balls. Sounds Hexagons. Like that looks neat. It does look. I neat. like the music. It's not copyright music, which means it's probably a good game. <laughs> oh, they, had the, uh, they, they had the talent to hire someone to make music for them, which is uh, always a good sign. Cocoon. All right, that's a memorable Coon. name. I would, I will remember Coon. 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 It's just O's and an N at the end. Coon. Yeah, you can almost draw the whole logo with perfect like circles until they fuck it up with the last <laughs> letter. Ew. <laughs> Ew, fine. indeed. It, no, he'll be, he'll be okay. Oh, it's uh, Sa uh medieval Japan. Onimusha. Okay. Thank you, too. <laughs> Sekiro oh, that's a dragon. Oh, it's Team Neo. Ninja. Nope, it's Ninja Gaiden. It's Neo. Oh, is it Neo? That doesn't look like Neo. Yeah, maybe is Team not. Ninja the, the guys from Ninja Gaiden? Yeah. Yeah. And Dead or Alive. And Neo. Dead or Alive, yeah. Is this a Ninja Gaiden? No. If it no, is, it, they oh, doesn't, actually, they're not making know. him look much like Pete Ryu at all. Yeah. Oh yeah, because uh, Ninja Gaiden needs specifically Ryo. Is this Elden Ring? If it is <laughs> Neo, if it is Neo, then I am quickly falling behind because I still haven't played the DLCs to the first one, let alone the sequel. Yeah, but well, look at the big dragon. Whoa, long Whoa, fallen long. dynasty. I guess oh. probably a third person action. Lu Bu, Lu Bu, Lu Bu. <laughs> Is that Lubu? <laughs> it's just burned into it's our Lubu, brains. It's Lubu, my man. It, 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 it's <laughs> Lubu! <laughs> <laughs>
Was he riding red hair? Right. Maybe the ge- <laughs> yeah. Maybe the guy's. Uh, maybe the guy. Maybe the game's worth it. It's got Lubu in it. Japan is the home to some of the Phil Spencer, tell me about Lubu. I'm here for that. Japan. Lubu's not from Japan. Don't be. Don't be rude. He said that was the first word he said. Japan. Well, the developers from Japan. Oh, but, yeah. Team, uh, team, Ninja. team Ninjas from Japan. Excited to be working with Team Ninja was a long history of building incredible action games for Xbox, and it's great to be working with them once again. That's right. They are very Xbox focused, aren't they? To continue to bring more yeah, the, all of the Ninja Gaiden games, Xbox. like the 3D Ninja Gaiden I'm games, are on the Xbox. To announce the return of one of the most highly requested and beloved franchises to Xbox. His hands are better. At Atlas. But his voice even is when, even when you're playing it on PC, even when you play it on PC, you literally like go find the Xbox in like a prototype Xbox in Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It heals you instantly. Oh, it's another right. Persona, Persona thing. Seven. Yeah, we can. No, do. it's not. I don't think it's seven. Or they, six. They, they do what? like five spin-offs to every Persona game or something. There's like a dancing one oh. and a dungeon crawler, I think, and stuff. There's a wolf. Persona three. Portable. Yeah. Ah. This is four, I think. Is it? Are they doing all of them? Yeah, yeah, this is, yeah, this is Persona anthology. 4. Uh, yeah, it's it, portable, though. Its original so theme it's song the was Persona. better, and they replaced it with the worst one in Golden. Oh, the anime. Controversial opinion, I like Chie's first voice actor better. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a fucking... It's a new console port oh, collection. Oh, so they're it's, just... It's, oh, it's, it's Persona, Persona collection. Persona games. Three, oh. It's Persona 3 Portable, Persona 4 Golden, and Persona... F- Five Royal is that what it's called? I I am, I am not a Persona person. I have no idea what any. No, of this I just is. like their intro cinematics <laughs> with the music, like the one with this. As, the, like as like, far, the, like like it plays this song and they're all like skating on this on the highway with their bare feet or their I mean their <laughs> shoes. With their bare feet. Oof. I mean like not skates. <laughs> they're like somehow sliding. Everything comes out in it's October. Just, nice. just in that time is, for well, yeah, it's that, that time of the year where all the money. Yeah. Uh, well, they think people are going to have money by October. They'll be lucky yeah. if they do. They are, it's they the are beginning of the Christmas cycle now, every year. I'm excited to oh, good call. A special partnership. This guy's very good excited. Good call. The basic yeah, annual pattern of games. Yeah, I did. I, look, I'm not a very worldly person. I don't know these things. <laughs> For many years. Christmas? What is I don't this? know what Christmas is. We will be working together to create a brand new Look, I buy pencil sharpeners for my Listen here, my child. I had E3 2003 on, oh, no. on DVD. We're making another, another director's cut of, of Death Stranding again. Please don't do that. Please do another game. I hope so. Dude, I hope it's Death Stranding 2, but it's just Death Stranding 1 with the director's Death commentary. Stranded. Cloud technology? Even if his games aren't good, at least Kojima does weird shit with his games. Yeah. Yeah, that's the whole brand. I like how he has a pin on his fucking... On his, I like 60% uh, of Death Stranding a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Kojima-san. We're thrilled to have Kojima Productions working with our teams at Xbox Game Studios. Today... For the first time ever, we have focused on showing you games that you can play over the next 12 months. Today's show Oh, we're at the end? The Season 3? I don't think that counts. Creators of all sizes who bring with them Quick, read all of these. <laughs> Stalker 2 is in there. Games from these creators will be coming to Game Pass every single month, including Naraka Blade Point, As Dust Falls, A Plague Tale Requiem, Pentiment, Persona 5 Royale, Somerville, and Scorn, just to name a few. And we start No, name them all, Phil, right now. Of some of the oh, that screenshot had everything. Titles from the teams at Xbox it's... and Bethesda. I, I, I don't know. Ball, Minecraft Legends, Starfield, Forza Motorsport, and more. This has been an incredible year. As we achieved if you say so. Across console, did they announce Starfield? Did, did it show a trailer? Yeah, or, or did, uh, yeah, we saw, yeah, we saw stuff for Starfield. That was the and one where you're... Wait. 
Oh, maybe I don't no, think I we did. Of the, I was thinking of the Cowboys in mechs or whatever, the people farming in a yeah, mech suit. But they did mention it, and like they showed some pictures, but not a trailer. A year ago, we welcomed the talented studios at Bethesda Softworks to Xbox. Their teams have been hard at work, bringing their franchises to Game Pass, shipping updates to their games, and building new experiences for you to enjoy. We know that everyone has been eager to see Starfield. Our show today oh, there it is. highlighted gameplay, so it's only fitting that we end it with an extended first look at one of the most anticipated games oh, in Xbox history. Oh, we're going to get Star... Uh... Yes is starfield starfield gameplay all right let's find out xbox console exclusive console it, exclusive it's a console yeah, so it's for pc game? it's not gonna be on pc yeah it's pc and xbox oh I think is another way of saying the ps4 is not getting it or ps5 or whatever oh those uh those are some very bad looking stars of uh, a pixelated no, I think it's like supposed to be old school oh, drawings. Gotcha, gotcha. Right? Doesn't it? I don't know. There's just a lot of artifacting. Might be just the video. Maybe yeah, it's like, like a um, view of a live stream. Oh, yeah, could be. I'm going to say we've been doing this since 1983. Oh, there we go. More gameplay. Oh, my God. Connecting uh, it's okay, calm down with the Instagram filters. I was genuinely wondering, like, how long are we going to stare at this line? Yeah. Oh, good trailer. Thanks for coming by. Oh, no. Oh, fuck you. It's hard to express how excited... No, get, the fuck out get of off my power. screen, Todd. Terrible. Bring what Pete Hines doing? back. All you bring is lies. <laughs> Bring Pete Hines back. <laughs> His shoes do look good, though. He's he. That's those are. Yeah, because he's shoes. rich. But still, Pete Hines, bring it, bring him back. He's so rich that they're CGing his face to look better in real time. So let's jump. Starfield. Ray Trace. It just works. His he's Ray Trace. He's saying the same sing song that he's been saying since Oblivion. His jacket is made of leather of the last developer that wronged him. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it's made of lies. Wow, it comes out in 2330. That's... that sounds about right. That's very bold of them to assume they'll still be around. Thanks for telling us the location of made up word at made up place. I wouldn't want to get confused. But yeah, but this is what all Hollywood movies do, right? All, all US movies tell you where they this are. This looks like Tom Cruise's Oblivion. <laughs> This does look like gameplay footage rather than a trailer. The There's smoke was very nice. Wow, I get to be a robot? That's pretty cool. I like robots. Are you? I think you're following the robot here. Look at the HUD. Yeah, uh, the cameras. No. I better be okay, the robot. Yeah, it's a first person game. Okay, I'm like, our camera's moving really weird. Uh, uh, oh no, they have a robot that talks. My god, they uh, learned nothing from Fallout 4. Mm -hmm. This interface is. This is No Man's Sky. You're scanning plants in a planet that doesn't have anything. How do you think they make these? Do they, well, you they have just a turn? Do they just turn screen smoothing up to like one billion percent so that it just is weirdly floating the whole time? <laughs> they don't want it to be like oh, yeah. looking all jerky. They their software to make the mouse shoot it. Up. Wait, how do you know bullets would work on that thing? Well, I mean, I don't think they're new here. Oh. I guess Bye. it's true. There are, there's a base already here. I don't like their yeah, backpack. Yeah, he showed a, a, a shocking amount of discipline. <laughs> yeah, right? Scan that interface. Scan so that bad, iron. Oh, oh my no, god, so hype. So hype. Mm, that's a lot of white Wait, on white that's hurt it, my eyes. Yeah, what the hell? Then there was a Can giant the red color? icon for iron. I don't know what they're going for here. Uh, obviously No Man's Sky, but you know, yeah, with a Bethesda logo on it. Very important to put the 23 experience in the middle of the screen. Are you 
using. It, it is very important. You have oh, to know. You have to have a full screen distraction that you made. Disco you made discovery experience. <laughs> did you need to hurt, hurt yourself. yourself on jumping? Why did you? Yeah. Why did he you hurt do himself? That? So they are focusing on the two things that Elder Scrolls is famous for: combat and and collecting stuff. In I the can't open wait world. to collect so much glue in these places. I'm gonna grab so much glue and adhe it, uh, sorry adhesive. Oh shit! Is that a pirate? And then I'll make a base is out of my adhesive. Is this Fallout 76 in space? Wow! I'm gonna get so much this adhesive so... and plastics. This then I'm gonna make a base where space. you can just throw seven beds in one room and pretend that you it was a house. Oh no! Ah! Don't make the fucking interface flash. I think it's because you're getting hit. Yeah, I think so. Oh no, this is yep. Fallout 76 in space. I read yeah, that as dip, dip, dipsticks. Of course there's mini games. My god. Did you picks. Would you like another ha uh, hacking mini game? The lock, the lock wow, picking and hacking aim? mini Are games you okay? look very okay until you do them a hundred times. Wait, did you not put iron sights in your game again? Did you they don't like iron sights. Bethesda? You should know. There is a literal Bethesda. iron sight on it. <laughs> there it is. Oh, there we oh, go. There okay, is. thank God. He just wasn't using it. He just sat there and missed yeah. every shot. And I was like, "Are you on? Are you doing this on purpose?" Oh, you're telling me you could even tell where his bullets were going when it was white on white on white on white. <laughs> uh, slightly, yeah. So encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who in the future the game is set in are the last group of space explorers to meet them you'll head to the no i don't city. i think you were killing the space explorers in that footage they weren't the last one no those are pirates they that what that's a, what that's an explorer come on just because they go by pirates okay maybe they that's have a looter maybe they have towns they have towns it's not fallout 76. yeah it's skyrim it's just skyrim in space uh, it better be, because it would be a terrible mistake for them not to do that. Oh, I was like, why are you clenching your fists? It's okay, it's just a watch. Oh, uh, it's Outer Worlds? Yeah, there's, th there was a feeling a little of that. Outer Worlds 2? No, this is, uh... This is still Starfield. Oh. Or yeah, it's still Starfield. Dust. <laughs> dust. I checked my phone for a moment and suddenly we had faces and I'm like, this is a different game. <laughs> yeah, it definitely felt like it. They start off. They remind me of Outer Worlds characters with a little jacket yeah, and everything. It's, a, a, it's the modern day sort of yeah. shader thing. Stop, criminal scum! They should bring back Stop the dialogue, right the dialogue pie. <laughs> no, they shouldn't. The one from that Oblivion, where you convince people. The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the settled systems is full of groups with other priorities. Not the Crimson Fleet. I much prefer the orange one. Man, they kill a lot of pirates in this game. Yeah, you, you want starting to wonder how there's so many left. Uh, they don't think about that. Every space colony game makes me think about my body count and how much that destabilizes the entire way that this colony works. But we are not stopping. Mine only thinks about the fact of how many are left. As I need to get through all that. <laughs> What 100% completion means completion. Yep. Forever. You're just, you're just staring at Rick from the, the the Rick and Morty dude, and you're just like, get out from under that man, that glass. You're the only one left, old man. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are. You've been saying that since Oblivion. And that starts. Yeah, no, it's pretty sure. It's, I'm pretty sure it's the story you wrote. Yeah, it's definitely his. It's and that maybe much, in the middle, you can choose a lot of surprises. Fashions. At some point, a celebrity voice actor dies. It's the usual. Oh, you can't be muscular and heavy? That's impossible. Only furries have discovered muscle gut. Muscle. 
Yes, as here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional Definitely not what I'm picking. Unique advantages and disadvantages. Kid Neon stuff. Street Rat? Definitely going to be that. <laughs> so that's, that's a good description. <laughs> They're all the same height, which means the shooter first. Yeah. The best from our previous games. Or that they don't have it the is actually distracting watching them all be the exact same height, despite massive differences yeah. in body type and gender and so on. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, is that an MP40? Wow, did you put like a... Oh, I love bullet sponges. Oh, I love just peppering bullets into something that doesn't even react, you and then eventually it, it runs sponges. out of health and falls over. You should have known that the moment you saw a health bar over there. I enemy. literally knew the second this trailer started, I wasn't going to be happy. I'm just fucking uh, commentating. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's I fucking, know, it's a Bethesda quote unquote RPG. I'm going to be miserable. So I'm not going to play I'm not, it. I'm not trying to. But then Patreon's going to make me Mason play build. it. They're just going to do it. You can even build your like, you love open world games, don't you? No. Of course <gasps> you do. <laughs> build your own spaceship? Dude, I'm making a dick ship. It's gonna be the best ship. It's in the like galaxy. the gummy ship from Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. it's gonna be just as, just as janky as Fallout 4. I would building. probably just make the Ebon Hawk. Oh no, it's just as janky as Fallout 4 is building. Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't think you can make the Ebon Hawk. Nah, probably not. Oh, the cost. The cool, we just gonna be so much fucking grinding to get the money to do anything in this game no you can pay them if you pay them that you get that for free oh i'm sure you can pay them because you can't it, like cheats need to be paid for you can fly your own i like ship. how our, all of our wow. favorite games are the bug ones well silk they, song it and seems cocoon. like the bug ones <laughs> Try the best. I'm gonna say you can't fly your own ship. That looked like a loading screen to me. I mean, that was just no. This flying. is it this right here. Flying. You're flying it. Yeah, right but now. like this is in space. It's like um. Yeah, it's different. Oh, you mean you think you can't fly your your ship in or in out in or in atmosphere? Yeah. That would Which be not. They really did. Maybe. You, I mean, maybe you can. They really did just like, make. That would called? potentially Didn't be hell in the engine, and it would also really stop you from being able to like. They wouldn't be able to gate you from your progress around the world in any way if you could just yeah. fly across it. Yeah, yeah. It's a problem more with the game genre than necessarily technology. I, I just don't like ship combat. No, can that's auto, not great. Can I, can I make an uh, autoplay? <laughs> like, like, like in a strategy game where you don't want to play the fights. So this is just No Man's Sky, right? It looks Maybe. like a real Icarus moment. Like, they're just going to fucking risk it. Be like, let's try to do the thing that famously didn't go great for them. We can do it. We nailed it with Fallout 76. I... The more, the more complicated this game gets, the more my immediate reaction is like, man, I can't wait for, like, half of this stuff to not work right. <laughs> like, it's just... What? It's... I don't... Do you think it's complicated? We can't wait. There's a crafting system. There's a shipbuilding system. A base building he's, he's system. He's just remembering the, base, whatever, the baseline like, level of quality that Bethesda games have. Especially on this. Game. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Like, because the, the trailer you're looks add, so like, polished, but then you remember how all their games actually work. That's really only the beginning. <laughs> like, there's like six different games worth of systems here, and you're telling me it's all gonna run in one Bethesda game? No. One last moment. And show you. Show me, Todd. Show me what you're gonna do. Yeah, let's let's find out this if a, it's a little. This is a completely random planet. We had no idea what planet we picked when we picked. No, this is the starting planet. Do you know how Bethesda is? They showcase their most amazing features in the starting. Uh, thing. The vertical, the vertical slice starting planet. Why was it called a Goldilocks planet? Is that the term? They they take inspiration from Mass yeah. Effect. Mass Effect also calls it all sorts of names. Oh, this porridge is just right. right. I get it. Yes, it's. <laughs> oh, I see. I was thinking of Alice in Wonderland. Still, I was like, "What the fuck do you mean Goldilocks no. planet?" No, yeah, it's just, it's a planet that is. I had to remember for the point of that. <laughs> this porridge wow, is just look at right. These. I can't wait till there's a bunch of dinosaurs humping each other because they didn't plan out the enemy AI. 
Well, the uh, the lighting looks pretty good, but well, yeah, it's it here. should. It's a trailer. It better look good. Yeah. That'd be awful. I mean, we've had some real low frame rate trailers today. That's true. That's true. Where you just kind of got you just kind of got to worry for a moment. <laughs> Do you see how the ship is sticking off? Is, the animation is so static that they can change the background. It's a loading screen. It's a loading screen for sure. Well, yeah, you're not going to fly on the planet. You only fly yeah, in space. Yeah, I bet, I bet you can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no way you can fly on planet. That would be... That would be that would actually be good. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. You'd be able to explore the planet normally instead of walking around. What is this? Explore the planet? I'm gone. I'm going exactly to the destination and leaving. ASAP. Yeah. Wow. Exploring is real iffy to me if it's not a level but just like wander around in random directions and you'll see different rocks and maybe a cave eventually that has something in it. But like, it's like, if it's just bomb, every direction's equally valid, then it, it doesn't feel like exploring in the video game sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to, I, I want to explore the way you do in Dark Souls 3. Wolf's back. They know the, the highlight was. Car ray the tracing. Nissan, the Nissan GTR. I don't like that seizure edit. Stop doing the seizure edit. It. The seizure edit is very important. Both. I fucking hate it. Every time they like, they just I flash the well. screen while making that sound. Yeah, this is the next 12 months of Xbox. We got Vin Diesel and Vin a werewolf, Diesel. and they're gonna fight. <laughs> we got old games. And new games. <laughs> and whatever that is. The fucking hair is. wobble again. They cut past that real fast. That's not showing up much in this trailer. They, got, they showed Hanzo getting destroyed. Yeah. I don't like how much the Mech Games trailer makes it look like Fortnite at the end. He does, doesn't it? It looks exactly like how Fortnite trailers look. Maybe it's a, a secret sequel. Well, that's it. That's all the games. Are, are you excited for this now that's all the games look at all these games it can wasn't all the games that, that were more can you believe that there's gonna be so many games but not right now on on the xbox i feel like this was worse it's... than usual no wow way. that's rude yeah. think of all the people who had to go through emotional and physical uh okay. degradation to make all these games <laughs> you're gonna call them bad I think that's rude. I'm pretty sure I like more things usually in showcases. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty much just like there's I, the two bug games looked good. One of which I already knew would look good before I saw any trailer. So it didn't really I didn't even need the Silk Song trailer. And then it's like, I don't know, maybe we'll get, all get together and play the vampire game someday. It's made by Arcane and it's four player. Probably that might be some fun at some point. But like <laughs> almost everything else, I'm just like. I don't, I don't, nothing, nothing was like, oh yeah, I can't wait. I guess it is Mech not... Farmer could be fun. Yeah, Mech Farmer does look like it'd be fun. You still got, you're still streaming. You're just going to show us all your uh, important information. You got too many tabs open. Close your damn tabs. No, I, I got to have as many tabs as I fucking want. No, <laughs> yeah. not only do you have tabs, you also have this stupid group of tabs, which means you have even more tabs that are just hidden. Well, yeah. You're hiding super tabs. <laughs> One of them is all of the YouTube channels that I have that I that I saw that might be interesting, and they're they're all on tabs in a folder together. And then the other one's all of my fur affinity tabs, and the other one is all the Steam games. It's a bunch of like tabs of like Steam pages of games I should look at later that I keep not looking at later. And then one of them <laughs> is just a bunch of fucking shit about Elden Ring. <laughs> that sounds exactly like my the way I. Do I had my to tabs. make I had to make tab folders because whenever I put this this thing on my second monitor. There's so many tabs that I can't reach the far right one anymore. It just disappears. And that's where my <laughs> streaming tab is because I just started streaming, generally speaking, when I put it on my left monitor. So I need I, if I leave the streaming tab, I can't get back to it. It's like it's fucked. <laughs> I think I, I don't know. I think it's uh, it's probably par for the course in terms of excitement for me. I also did forget I was streaming to you guys still because I closed the, the, <laughs> the, the game. I, I stopped I stopped streaming in, in uh, OBS. But they didn't uh, see my. They, they weren't the, seeing my desktop. Um, but I was like, "Oh, Twitter's oh, a dangerous." To... Well, I mean, uh, I, I mean, I, I stopped screen. I stopped recording my screen. Oh, 
but I forgot that I was gotcha. still streaming to you guys. Yeah. Like, Twitter is a dangerous website to open when you and other people are watching <laughs> for any reason. Yeah. Yes. You never it's, know what's going to uh, happen. It is... I would say pl I'll probably play, like, less than half of the games they showed. I'll probably... I mean, I'll probably end up playing Diablo because I've, pl I've beaten every Diablo, so I might as well. Um, trying to think. Game, I, I've already played Grounded. I've already played, um, well, I've already played every Riot game, so I don't need to do that again for no reason. There's, I, I don't think I've ever played I, a single Riot game. I'm Let me look think, at like, the, is there, um, there, there was one screenshot. There it is. I found it. It's at the one sixteen sixteen mark that has all of the games announced. Oh, and more. Uh, there's stuff like Atomic Heart in here and. Uh, Warhammer 40k, Dark Tide, and other things. So if you I, want to see that. Oh, there's also I, I Resident Evil 4? Are they remaking Resident Evil yeah. 4? Yes. Yeah, they're doing a remake of RE4. Um, mm. a, I guess Silk Song's like called the Ark. best looking game in that list. Uh, Ark like is apparently the... called Ark 2. So what? that's what we saw? Yeah, they're also yeah it was Ark 2. They're, they're also remaking Dead Space. Oh, yeah, right. they're doing a new Dead Space. That's so fucking insulting. I mean, so is EA still existing in the 2020s. Like, it's fine. We I just, mean, it's we just, just the fact that they're... It. The fact that they mangled Dead Space as a franchise and, like, and Dead Space 3 happened that way, and then they ultimately dismantled the company that made Dead Space, but now they're going back and being like, let's do a loving tribute to how good Dead Space was, the game that we decided wasn't good enough when we actually had it. It's not going to be loving. They're going to add microtransactions. No, I just think it's the premise. I, it's just, yes. it's stupid. Yeah. It's it's frustrating. <laughs> but, but, yeah. but that's EA. On the flip but, um, side, um, we get mm -hmm. a Dead Space game. That we can all look back and go, man, you remember Dead Space? What happened to Dead Space? So I, I heard year, rumors. Wait, where's that Perfect Dark game? Did we just stop talking about that? We just not. <laughs> we still seem like happened? nothing about that Perfect Dark game, and it still hasn't. There's just nothing still. Perfect Dark prequel. Where is it? Where is your all we saw Dark was prequel? drone footage, right? Like a fake drone flying yeah. through a, some building somewhere, and that was their reveal like a year ago, maybe two. And then it had like Joanna standing in front of like pyramids yeah. or something like that. I'm um, sure development's going great. <laughs> so the trailer appeared in 2020. Um, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, I, I'm looking at an article here that came out in 2021 and it is saying, uh, we'll probably hear something more about it in 2022, which obviously not because we just watched a showcase of games that are coming out in the next year and perfect <laughs> dark was not on that list so, r.i.p crystal dynamics the, the next company on the chopping block i i guess i hate to say it but we've been bamboozled i'm sure it will come out and like it'll do the cyberpunk thing it'll come out and you know like five years late and then it's going to be way bloated and no one's going to like it and everybody's gonna be like what what why did this game even come out some it's, people are gonna like it. If it's we're like now like fun. we're now like further away from when Perfect Dark Zero came out than Perfect Dark was when Perfect Dark Zero came out. I don't what? like any of that sentence. How does that? In work? fact, we're astronomically further away. Actually, if you look at the timeline, bizarrely, when Perfect Dark Zero came out, Perfect Dark was only five years old. Uh, Perfect Dark Zero is now seventeen so... years old. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just wanted to do, do damage to you. 17 years? Is it really? It can't it's, have been set. Oh it's been set. It's only 2005. It's 2022 Seven. now. 17. <laughs> Andrew is realizing he's old. Uh, it, looks the, it looks the age, though. I'm looking at screen. It came talk. up for the 360, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was a launch. Wasn't game. that like the flag? It was a launch game for the. Yeah, I know. Oh, when man. I got the 360 for the first time, I got Perfect Dark Zero with it, and it was bad. Uh, and then I. <laughs> so, what I did is I turned my. But I, I saw this thing on the, some fucking press thing where I was like, 
oh wow, if you turn the Xbox, the lights rotate. So like, it would change the orientation of the lights around the wheel when you rotate the Xbox, because you could have a stand up or lay down, and the little like four mm. quadrant thing would rotate with that. Uh, so I did that while the Xbox was on, and it carved a ring into the perfect dark disc and destroyed it. So we took it back to GameStop mm. and claimed it came that way, and I and I swapped it out for Call of Duty Two, which was a significantly better game. Mm. Oh yeah, Call of Duty, Call of Duty was... Two was a fun campaign at, back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Perfect Dark Zero, I didn't even beat. I'm looking at, but uh, I will now games... with my playthrough with Andrew Wilson. <laughs> I'm looking at the games that are kind of going to come out this we gotta year. We're going to celebrate the 17th anniversary year anniversary. God. <laughs> well, there's the Have 40- you ever played Perfect Dark Zero? Did you even Only play it? Only a little bit. Fuck, dude. Did you play it, Andrew? Yes, I beat the whole fucking thing. It's fine. I'll I'll sit there and I will watch yeah. as you just crumble, as you just cry watching like seeing something so egregiously bad be displayed in front of you with a rare logo attached to it just like what the mm. fuck is this what did you do like oh my god it's so bad it's so it's not even a perfect dark game that's the worst part like how did you do that how did you just not make a perfect dark game it's fine 17 years we've learned our lesson and now we just now we just tease perfect dark we don't even make them anymore we just tease about it because we know that we'll never be able to make a good perfect dark game. So if we just remind people, I don't know. I also heard there is a there was like supposed to be a rumor that a new Banjo Kazooie game was going to be announced. Didn't get announced this time. <laughs> R.I.P. Forever. Do you really Maybe want a new Banjo Kazooie game? Yeah, I want a sequel to Nuts and Bolts finally, so I can get yes. a, I can get, to get closure. closure on that. Yeah. Wait, does it end in, I, in a cliffhanger or something? I mean, it ends the way that every Banjo Kazooie game ends, which is you beat Gruntilda and she goes, "I'll be back," and then it oh right does the little music credit sequence or whatever. I think he's just for, mostly why, verbally uh, shit posting. Yeah, why yeah, 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 it's just it's fine. Let it be. Uh, I want to see Banjo and ray tracing. Got to see every individual fur on his butt. Uh, and he gets weirder the I, more realistic he gets sometimes. <laughs> Well, because he's not supposed to be. He's a, yeah. he's a dumb cartoon bear. He's not supposed to look like a dumb cartoon bear from, like, a forest. <laughs> Weird. I, yeah. I mean, Nuts and Bolts at least took it in a uh, still cartoony direction. He still didn't look real. He just had, like, a big, dumb, square face. But it's... I don't know. It. I, Rare didn't even do anything. They did literally nothing. This... this oh, showcase they had like oh we added customization to our pirate game isn't that great and you're like Darn. no what that's not a new game you just added dlc to a not even dlc you added I mean, like a patch that's, basically that's, that's content <laughs> it's content i guess i just live service I would video expect games rare sometimes you, that's all you do is give this, it to somebody this else quarter of overwatch we're announcing that we have more ethnically dubious culture costumes let's go <laughs> well, more score will this cause discourse <laughs> that's what that's what fuels blizzard if not for discourse they probably wouldn't exist anymore <laughs> obviously the i don't know it is it is a lackluster game show i think most of the stuff that were shown are things that i I'm glad are on Game Pass because I wouldn't pay money for them. So at least it gives There's me a, a, a way to enjoy the enjoy something that's bad without feeling the guilt of paying for it. Remember what I said right at the beginning? Or was that in our failed take? I think it was, I said it, when uh, it, this is for the, the stakeholders and the investors rather than for players. Yeah. It kind of came across a little bit as that. Cause I would be pulling so out many- my money immediately. <laughs> there's like there's some some really big names that people were expecting like the announcement of Starfield and the first footage we get out of, out of Starfield and there's like new like a brand I genuinely new thought it was gonna stop at the end of that fucking teaser <laughs> it was just gonna be like <laughs> bye you, yeah, looked at, you stared well. at a line for a while and then an incomprehensible series of fucking color washed then, flashes I would, happened. I would love that it, just it happens all the time. That's that the impressive? equivalent of the Perfect Dark trailer that we have. Yeah. 
But then everything, every other thing were things like names, household names that people were, that we are all familiar with. It's just like, look at the nice games that people know and that exist in our console. But like, that's coming out this year. I, I thought uh, we, lo we looked at Scorn and I think Scorn is going to be like a double A kind of game. Um, and we thought it was a multiplayer game. It's actually not. It's a single player survival game. That shooter that looked like aliens. You, ke you guys kept mentioning another name that I am not familiar with. Um, but uh, yeah, I I'm pretty excited for Pentiment or Pentiment rather. I don't know what Pentiment means. Um, and for Scorn as well, it looks pretty cool despite being double A. But that's all for this year, because everything else is like Halo, the Halo announcement, the Overwatch announcement, the Fallout 76 announcement, the Grounded, like things that, that are uh, like Sea of Thieves, Forza Horizons, like, or the Elder Scroll thing. There's a lot of that's coming out this year that is just famous names that people know that are it's not necessarily, I think. There's a lot of DLC, which is yeah. fine. That's, I guess, to be expected. I guess DLC is and it's right its own separate thing but mm -hmm. uh but i don't really care about that because it's dlc for games i don't play so and even even for moot. next year the even for next year the the truly new sort of franchise stuff is starfield redfall and um flintlock everything else is uh minecraft legends forza diablo league of legends arc resident evil that wasn't shown hiccups i'm sorry persona like in terms of really new things it's really just starfield that it, it's like the hype driver and it honestly i it didn't the the footage didn't make me very excited like it feels like they're attacking on the the ship combat uh just for the sake of it and it doesn't look uh original in any way it it looks kind of good, but I don't like it. the 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 novelty will fade out like in a second. <laughs> so it's just be like careful. Those hot towered stand, those Todd Howard stands are coming at you. They're getting ready. Nah. They're loading their loading their comments up. They're ready to press submit. I don't know. It's gonna it, remind it, it you that Bethesda very... makes all of the best RPGs. Nobody makes but, West, but well, thing... Western RPGs like Bethesda. But the thing is, you can be unoriginal when you're talking fantasy. It's totally fine to have goblins and elves, and it, 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 it's fine because that's a staple. But when it comes to sci-fi, that's not like a, lo a large part of why sci-fi works is because it's new. It's not like you need to come up with new ideas, not just be run of the mill. It looks like run of the mill. It's freaking pirates. You're shooting pirates. Like, what? Did like the, yeah, am the I Rick wrong? The Rick and Morty game at least looked like it had unique enemies. I think all the aliens in Rick and Morty look pretty or not Rick and Morty, whatever it's called high on life high on life high on life yeah high on life looked like it had at least unique character design yeah but starfield looked like it was like here's some animal aliens and here's a bunch of people shoot the people and you're like oh okay sure yeah, it, it i i i think i didn't expect more admittedly but i am i'm still it's still a letdown I'm expecting a But you a can color fly slider. a pelican I wanna... in flight simulator. That looks pretty good. I might buy flight simulator just for that. <laughs> Finally, the, the Halo yeah. experience I was looking for. It, I remember, was so, I was I so disappointed when the dinosaur trailer turned out to be Ark. <laughs> well, I was still excited that Vin, Vin Diesel's, Diesel's in it. Up. I didn't like it. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think Vin Diesel's even going to be in the game, is he? It doesn't no, matter. He was in the trailer. In the trailer. That's he's good he's just in me. the trailer for a minute. Oh yeah, there was the. Uh, there's that one action game that might be okay. Which one? The, the one you forgot oh, already. Uh, Flintlock. Oh, Flintlock. Yeah. Oh. Maybe. And there's Redfall. I don't know. Th those are both for next year. I think it's possible. I, I think. Too. I think I'd probably have more fun with uh, Red uh, Redfall than I would with Flintlock. I don't think Flintlock looks like it appeals to me in any way. Yeah, I'd be a bit curious it, about f Red f Redfall, Flintlock, and uh, uh, Lu Bu. Wo Long, there we go. Lu Lu Bu. Oh, I forgot about that. But we don't yeah. know what genre that is. Even it was just a. Tr it was just. I mean, it looks like it's an action genre. Probably. Uh... <laughs> it's actually the return of Kessen. <laughs> oh, thank God! Finally. 
<laughs> getting some real quality entertainment here. Dynasty Tactics. <laughs> the hit PS2 game, Dynasty Tactics. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the, the, the screenshot uh, of... Um, of Dynasty Tactics, it's not great. No, no, that the thing where they have the, the coming to Xbox slash PC over the next 12 months thing at the uh, 116 16 mark. And uh, there's a game yeah. called Team Fight Tactics. Team Fight is all one word. So there's some tactics yeah. stuff coming up. It's not just that. I've never heard of it. I don't think it's real. No, it wasn't shown, I don't think. But yeah, if it wasn't shown in the thing, it's probably not coming out. No, why not? Slated for next year. Because they're not obligated to. They didn't show a trailer. They didn't have uh, to promise anything. Oh, they did say we are only going to show the things that are coming out in the next 12 months. Maybe they didn't show yep. it because of the, yep. they don't know for sure. If you couldn't get a trailer ready for the... to, If you couldn't get a... If you couldn't get your game ready enough to get a trailer made in it, then I don't think you're coming out in 12 months. Mm. Though I don't know. That uh, High on Life doesn't look like it's ready to come out at all it doesn't look like it should be coming out really? even within a year i don't think so i that game looked like it struggled to run in every single scene it showed uh the humans looked dead ass awful um i think there was like i like i like, like, like the a, humans i really did there was a really in high on life yeah yeah i really did like it i, I, I thought the art style was great that, that's concerning. I think the <laughs> there's like a weird filter over it to me that looked like it was blur. It was like a weird motion blurry filter that made everything yeah. look like poopy, and I don't like it. It's it's the, the game important looks like thing it needs a is lot that like I pointed out immediately, 100 percent of us forgot about Gunfire Reborn. Uh, what the hell's Gunfire I, I Reborn? Did. That's oh, the is one that the, with has like little the low, low res animal gun people. <laughs> Oh yeah, and it yeah, just yeah, yeah. was. Conf it looked like shovelware. Like it just looked like the kind of shit you quickly make out just to make another, your next game. Probably just yeah. a mobile game, right? Just the least inspired kind of like indie whatever. That was the mm -hmm. one that had the weird spinny hallway for no reason, just because they tried to have a slight amount of variety in their series of just a guy shooting a colorful <laughs> gun. Because the whole game looks the same if you just show gameplay. They just photoshopped a PNG of a hallway and then spun it on the screen. And then... <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was very weird. Why did they do that? Because they probably had to spin up the, the trailer in like a, a week. With a team of three people. They did great. If you're listening, you did great. I hope you got a raise. What? The people who did the trailer for the, what's the name? Oh of the yeah, game? what's the name of the game? <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, what's the name of the game? Yeah, yeah. go ahead, yeah. go ahead, Colonel. Yeah. Let me yeah, know the name the of that door. game that was in the effective trailer that was so good. Gun. <laughs> Gra gunning reborn. What was it called? <laughs> Gunfield. Wow. Gunfield, just gu just no, is it gun. <laughs> it's got it's something about guns. It's like gunning, gunning. reborn. Or gun. Oh, I have the. Let me see. Let me see can, if I can find it here. <laughs> I can't. Gun. It's not in the screen. Gunfire. That's what it is. Gunfire, gunfire. reborn. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I was close. Gun. It's a very generic name. Why is it reborn? Why did you kill it? Why isn't it called? Thing? Yeah. Why isn't it called Gunfire Reloaded? That would be a much better title. And you could make a cover of, of Fuel by Metallica. There you and go. Everybody would be hype. Yeah. The, uh, see, the people who ma made the trailer didn't make the, the game naming decisions and the, the soundtrack decisions. <laughs> That's why they deserve the, a raise. Oh, now I just remembered that I need to watch, I need to listen to Tick Tick to Boom by, uh, by the Hives. Why? Because the off-beat or off-brand version they, made you really want to... It sounds so much like it. It's just... It's really distracting. Well. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anything from the Hives. Uh, did you ever play uh, Far Cry 5? No. Because they played it a lot in that game. <laughs> just be running around and the hi lot. Hives would just be playing on the various radios. 
mm. along with other songs that I don't remember that weren't Tick, Tick, Boom. Was it Tick, Tick, Boom or Dial Right? I think it was Tick, Tick, Boom. This is a really that interesting I'm conversation sure. I'm having with myself. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not aware. I do not know the intricacies of music. It's. I know. It's Swedish one song. Mu- music. It's complicated. Is it Swedish? According to the Wikipedia page. Huh. I I didn't even know that. That's. That's how little I know about this game. No, the the hives is Swedish. <laughs> oh, the hives. Sorry, I don't even I know, know what game, game it was. Sorry, was it the gunfire? I, 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 I meant to say game. I didn't mean to say. It. Oh. Was it the gu- it, was it the gunfire one that we're talking about? My brain is my brain's like trying to comprehend. Oh, I'm trying to like think of like was there anything else in that in that reveal that I was like, man, what a good oh whatever that point and click. Uh, adventure game was. That was not a point uh, of the adventure game. The what strategy are, no, fa- but, fighting one? No, no, the one the, the medieval like drawn book looking one. Yeah, Pentiment. Oh. Pentiment, yeah. Pentiment. Yeah. That looked pretty good. I like I that. Know I'll probably Pentiment means. I'll probably play that. I, I don't know what it means. It's the presence or emergence of earlier images, forms or strokes that have been changed and painted over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you've you've said words to me. I don't know what they mean, think, but you said words. I think to I me. know what it is. It's uh do you know how the, sometimes they they find uh, like old books and then they can read another book under the book that's there? Because what they did is they like they co- they they erased the old book and just like when you paint over parchment. a painting. And if, if, for example, a painting is the more easy one. I think but I think that's what it is. But uh, okay. Usage in English. The term is usually termed or treated as an Italian word and therefore written in italics because that. Okay. Wikipedia, you're drunk. Go home. Depending on the style. Oh, no. Wait. That's, I'm, I'm drunk. I go home. Never mind me. <laughs> are, you, are you okay? <laughs> I'm not drunk. I mean, yeah. Are you all right? You doing all right? <laughs> mm-hmm. I was just reading the Wikipedia thing. Although, admittedly, I'm reading the Pentimento article rather than pentiment because yeah i don't know yeah i i really like well, that it, uh, it didn't show combat so like on the bright side we get to play overwatch 2 on october 4th and on the downside we get to be inundated with microtransactions like never before and on the downside it's Gonna probably not be as well maintained for preventing cheaters and stuff as Overwatch One. Uh, and it's, it's gonna be a rough time probably, for whatever fucking rank new players default to. <laughs> yep, so and it's probably not gonna that. have. It's just gonna be all hackers. I assume they're gonna reset MMR because it's a new game, technically. I don't know what happens to everyone's old accounts. Does their stats reset? Does everything stay the same? <laughs> Find out next time. Uh, I guess I don't they know. They really need to figure. I don't. I don't like where... seeing Gotham City in daytime. When when is that? In Overwatch. I mean, yeah, my favorite my yeah. favorite map. Uh, Kingsfield. There we go. Kingsfield. Yeah. Or King's Row. There we go. Kingsfield King's is, a, oh, is the old right, is right. the old game spy was, from software. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, King's Row is, is it's so Gotham y that I don't like it being at daytime in in the sequel. It's just London. It looks good at night and shouldn't London, have sun ever. London looks it good. It is at a day. noir place. <laughs> if you say so. I I've said so. I'll and I'll never but unsay I, so. I'll be curious to see how it goes. I guess it's free, so what's the harm? The uh, worst it could be is the Halo multiplayer. Did they ever fire is, uh, all the shitty people yet? I doubt some it. of them, but no one's ever. Not. We'll, no one's ever called Bobby Kotick. We'll, we'll get Bobby, Bobby Kotick is still. Yeah, we'll have get, I gone a year without playing Overwatch yet? I we'll, miss Overwatch. We'll, we'll get 
we'll get back to firing people once we get this deal to go through and Microsoft can buy us. And then maybe we'll clean our act up. But also, don't start unionizing. We don't like that. Uh, Please don't do that. The, the, the Call of Duty guys are already unionized, and we can't have like the Overwatch people do it, because then we'll actually have to... Fuck. We'll have to do something. It's been almost a year. The last, Honestly, video, I, the last, video, to, I, the last video I put up was part 260. It was on July 20th. Oh <laughs> I have to say, I give so much goddamn credit to the fact that the moment the moment that jeff kaplan left overwatch it literally free falled into hell like everything collapsed that man literally just the foresight either he like was either he was sitting there at the top of a mountain looking down and going like oh i can see the fire slowly approaching or he had literally the best timing ever invented this guy just walked away before a nuke went off. How do you do that? How do you know the exact right time to leave before everything goes bad? That's so... We used to, we used to play so fucking awe. much. Like, the first hundred episodes yeah. were shorter, but some of these episodes are, like, six hours long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to do, like, <laughs> a whole night. 260 parts. I would sometimes, yeah. because I had so much other multiplayer footage to put up, I would combine sometimes two nights of Overwatch into one video <laughs> and just put that up on its own. Like, that's how much fucking yeah, Overwatch we, we were playing. Because, like, this was before we played Final Fantasy, so we were doing a lot of, uh, yeah. like, Saturdays and Sundays would mostly just be Overwatch. It was It was, a, it was like, Fridays it was and Saturdays. I, th I don't remember. Or, Actually, or maybe I it was Fridays and Saturdays. I, think it was I thought Fridays, Fridays was always the... Oh, was it? It's based on when people showed up mostly. It was before Wilder Myth or any of the true. like regular stuff we had. Yeah, we we had Wilder also, Myth. But well, we, this was. This we also we also frequently would play some other game from seven to nine with the group, and then as everyone, then everyone else would leave, and then the two of us would play from like <laughs> yeah. nine to one. Yeah, we would then just stay up all and night we, playing. And we would often do yeah. that twice a night or twice a week. Yep. But it's yep. not the quality of Overwatch that pushed me away. It was the uh, the world. Was yeah, it was the uh, the quality of the company that made yeah. Overwatch that pushed me away. Then at some point, you just Fire, like, does anything Fire ever? Bobby does anything Fire ever Bobby ever Bobby get fixed Bobby. ever in any way? It doesn't. No, Bobby no. Kotick um, isn't fired. No, it wouldn't even matter if he got fired. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's it's like an small indication. Fry. He's literally the CEO nah. of the company. There yeah, is but no he world he, where the problems of he, Blizzard have been fixed and he's still the CEO. The CEO. There's no world where that happens. If you write that wow. into a book of fiction where, oh, Blizzard is a, is a nice company to work for now, but Bobby Kotick is still CEO, then I would call you out. That's unrealistic. I think it's also important to go, you know, to just start going from bottom to top here. No, we can I think it's also important. We can do that. You can, but I think you're going to find it a lot easier to go from bottom to top. I think you're going to have it's going to be a lot it's going to be a lot easier if you just wait out Bobby's little contract and then you just don't renew it and let him There's no waiting like now. little gremlin. Cuz the board of yeah, directors don't don't want to fire him. Not board of directors. Well, no. Of, uh... well, no, they don't want to fire him, but if you fire everyone leading up to him, I think he would take a leave. Going like, uh, great. I'm the only one remaining of this nice, fraggled situation I've created. Maybe I should that, leave before it starts becoming a bloodbath out for me. Because like at this point now, is, that's, what, from the that's what I'm saying. So if you, yeah. if you start killing all of the, all of the bad Not roots killing. off, you start firing. Well, you know what I mean? Like you're, <laughs> you're firing all of the, all the people that cause this problem. You're killing off those roots of, mm -hmm. that would just make more and more bad trees. Then you can finally start building a union of people who then decide to confront. I'm management sorry. Is somebody trying to introduce communism to this podcast? Yes. You know what? <laughs> it's finally time we all start talking at the same time, at the same level, like we all should. That's not what communism is. <laughs> well, that's what my history books told me it is. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh -oh. 
I, I, I don't doubt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All I know is that Cuba is communist and they have to wait 20 years to go see a doctor, which then kills them because they don't have competent doctors. And communism is whenever you're in a room communism. of people, you have to hold your, you have to raise your hand before you speak and everyone waits a long time. So you only get to talk once every 20 years. <laughs> is, that, is that really what's thought about Cuba? Because Cuba is famous for having some of the most efficient health systems in the world. <laughs> It's like the one thing that they do well is their health. Everything no, else. No, we is usually say Canada. Uh, oh, Canada. Canada is the one that has the bad, the bad health no, system. Cuba's they, just no, no, they always talk, they constantly. If you talk about Canada around conservatives, uh, they always talk about how like there's these massive wait times and people always have to come to the United States yeah. in order to get any doctoring done and whatnot. Like, in fact, that's what they say about basically yep. any time you talk about any country having a better healthcare system. As they all repeat the same line about how all those people in that country come to the United States for for healthcare, supposedly. And don't forget, they have death citation uh, needed. <laughs> death, death counts. Death. Uh, the, oh, yeah, oh yeah, the death, death uh, council death, or whatever. Death the, the, the death, death the panels, death panel. That's what it is. They were yeah. talking, yeah. When they're when they're ta when they're talking about Obamacare, they would constantly talk about death panels being like this this evil board of new world order people that would like choose who lives and dies, as if that's not what insurance is right now. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, the double standard is pretty. Well, usually the examples of how bad things standard. would it's be are just how the world is now. Yeah. Yeah, anytime, I, um, anytime someone goes like everything else is bad, look at look at ours as and so great it is. You just like can kick it in the knees and it falls over immediately. Like, oh wow, it really didn't have any defense against that, did it? That's weird. And then you go kick the other one in the knees and it's like, yeah, that's fine. Ah, how, wait a second, how come they had defenses against this? Why are we the only ones falling over? Our our system the greatest? What happened? It's smart. It's fine. On the plus yeah. side. Uh, because of because of how badly we fun uh, like budged up this pandemic, we basically like crippled our own medical system. So a lot of doctors and nurses have started leaving and quitting the profession. And we have a really bad now we now uh, ambulance drivers are leaving in droves. So we're just like losing a lot of medical staff, which is good because then you know we won't have medicine anymore, and then insurance companies will die, and then we probably will have to do something about that, like uh, standardize it with you know a government system maybe or mm. or we just get sick all the time and then that's it that's what happens already though well yeah but now we don't have anywhere to go and yell about being sick but you know or we well i guess we technically don't have a place to lose all of our money while being sick is probably the reality but yeah uh, that, that's gotta be yeah. like that is so scary. I can't. I can't even imagine that. Like I freak out because, like, I freak out by oh maybe the car that I'm gonna buy or that that I bought a couple of years back maybe it's not gonna last like ten years. It's only gonna last seven. And like, in meanwhile, people in the UK in the US just like how uh, the stats are are ridiculous. It's like, uh, like half a million people every year have bills more than the, the like it's it, it's like more than a house the price of a house or something like that the, but i, yeah. I like I don't, where where did i see these? it's just yeah like i just uh, it's like so it's, i just it's got like i'm making it up i i just got like a i did like a, a physical like i need to go get like a, a every couple of years they get like a physical and so i went to go get the blood panel where they just take like a bunch of blood and then do some tests on it to check that you're not dying and mm -hmm. just to like, I think I got like four vials of blood taken mm -hmm. uh, or no, five, five vials of blood, five different tests. And the combined total of all those tests was six hundred dollars. I did and that last month as well. Four, four vials. I paid zero. And yeah, I waited and so three I, weeks to get to the doctor. I, I said, hey, I need a doctor. And they were like, come here three weeks from now. And out of and pocket, I, I had to pay. I had to pay eighty eight dollars. That's still uh, brutal. It's it's still I I would probably pay yeah. eighty eight dollars if I did it outside of the the if I you know did it by myself, I would probably have to pay eighty eight dollars somewhere around there. But that's like like private health care. So you have yeah. you have uh, insurance and you're paying the same prices that I would pay here in Portugal 
But for... we also get to pay a monthly subscription for no reason. And you pay. I remember, <laughs> I I got to go do that, and I, like I got to schedule that for a few days. So I got to say, hey, I want to do this thing like tomorrow, and they were like, okay, that's fine. Oh, so, you had to you know, schedule the coll- the collection. Well, oh yeah, yeah, I had man. to go. I, mean, get for bigger blood cities, makes sense. I, I can't take my own blood. He's I mean, not I really. He is not in the big city. Oh no, because I just went up to this. I like I didn't say any, tell anything. I was just like, hey, I need my blood tested, please. Here's the papers that my doctor gave me, and they just took the blood right there and then. I didn't wait at all. Yeah, last time I wanted my blood checked, I just asked for it. Yeah, you just wait in a line in one lobby, and then they stab you a few times. <laughs> yeah, mine's. Uh, I don't have very good insurance so i have to play the game of finding out who accepts me who will let me in to the building to get medical treatment because Um, insurance is freedom dude i'm someone who would benefit from like just the ability to be like have us like a fucking like open up your (laughs) like in real life but like essentially like opening up your fucking uh command prompt and doing like a lookup of like do i have insurance (laughs) Because my income changes so much on the line of where I qualify that my kind of insurance keeps changing. And then from moment to moment, it's difficult to tell, like, okay, do I have insurance now, though? And with who? And so which which hospitals? Like, whenever I consider yeah, doing heard. something, it's really frustrating because my entire uh, my entire system of what I even have gets, like, rooted up and, re- and redone every, like, year. And it, it makes what it really I've frustrating when people... you're trying to have basic health care. What I've heard that people do to fix that problem is they set up a company, like YouTubers specifically, they set up a company so they can have a salary, a fixed salary, and the company pockets the profit. And then you just, because you're the sole owner of the the company, you just use the money for yourself anyway, but the company pays the tax over the surplus so you can have your own insurance. I just need to hit the level of income, yeah, or where it's just like, well, you don't qualify for any of these free options, so now you just got to pay for your, you just got to have a regular paid insurance. Yeah, that's scary. Like at the beginning of the people love the gamble of like, will I am I paying for this or they paying for this? We'll never know. (laughs) It's a surprise every time. And the thing is, what happens? What happens in the U.S. that you guys don't have the immediate perception? Besides the really weird ways that or the really weird reasons of why medical stuff is so expensive in the u.s because that's like a specific rabbit hole to get into the other thing is because the insurance companies are in it for profit they don't have um uh they don't really have an incentive behind uh like making it cheaper for for treatments to, to or making treatments be cheaper because they don't really care. Like the, you just pay whatever you have to pay, and it's just already absurd. So if it, a, a treatment costs a hundred thousand, it doesn't really cost that because it's weird. Then that's the like uh, basically if you if you don't have insurance, you pay a hundred for something. But the, if you have insurance, you don't pay anything. But the insurance company only pays like ten because they have like fake numbers, and that's that's why it happens like that. But because the competition doesn't exist between the insurance companies and the uninsured public. Um, because if you're uninsured, you're screwed anyway. But that competition doesn't exist in the US as far as I understand it. And what that does is that it, you know, it creates the prices being weird. And that's why you see in a lot of European countries is even private healthcare is cheap because everybody's paying the same rate. Both the government who are interested in paying yeah. little because they're in, not in it for the profit. So they, are, they just want to pay little because that's the government. Um, so the government wants to pay a little, and they there's a, a they're a huge client, so they negotiate like systems and negotiate distribution of services and all that to be for things to be cheap, and then everybody else that isn't going through healthcare uh, through the government they g- get to benefit from the cheap stuff basically. That's and so healthcare is cheaper, and that even applies to things that the government doesn't insure. Like here, for example, dental healthcare is not a, a part of a social healthcare social socialized healthcare but because the whole machine around dental is is still working in the context of medicine in portugal like you can have your teeth looked at for, for, and 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 fixed for super cheap like 25 euros or 50 euros or something like that in comparison to what you would expect otherwise and it's so yeah it's there's like, not a uh, there's not regulation to 
spe- like specify what the cost of any particular thing is allowed to be at maximum. So mm-hmm. you think, for example, like uh, we do have rules in place for like how high can you make like bread and milk or eggs, how high you're allowed to make like uh, like essential things, essential products, things that are necessary for people to live comfortably. Uh, we generally can set regulations on the price to prevent like price gouging or price uh, collusion, right? Like if every hospital mm-hmm. says like, oh, we're going to charge like $100 for, uh, for visiting us, then yeah, everyone's going to charge $100, even though it's like, no, that's like a, that's like a, a zero cost or like a $5 cost thing. Um, mm-hmm. There's, because there's no regulations in that, it ends up creating this system of like, well, you can do whatever you want, which means that, generally speaking, because it's a for-profit industry, you will always choose the option that gets you the most amount of money. And so, yeah, you charge everything. Like, yeah, going to, going to see a doctor and getting a flu shot is going to cost you like $500. And you're like, how did that happen? And if you ask that question, they go, uh, well, it was actually like $100. But, you know, we're going to bill it as $500. But, if, you know, like, again, that's why if you look at, like, a lot of stuff... Um, about medical issues, they always recommend you like get itemized lists because when they have to itemize things out, when they have to break it down, like, okay, well, where's the cost coming from? Because if the co- if you tell me that you, I spent $500 on a flu shot, that's clearly not real. That's not true. You've, you, you have scammed me. Um, then like you can take that to court. So they itemize it out. It turns into like a regular small list of like, okay, well, the flu shot was like 50 bucks and it was like, you know, a dollar 50 for a band aid and whatever. But it's you have to do you have to be proactive in getting a better. It's like dealing with a car dealership. You have to go mm-hmm. to your doctor and be like, why the hell am I getting charged two hundred and fifty dollars for a doctor visit? What happened here? And then they have to break it down. And when they break it down, then you can look at stuff and go like, there's absolutely no reason why I'm paying money for a band aid I didn't get. There's no reason why I'm paying money for like you uh, giving me a, a cotton swab for something that didn't happen. Like they can just put stuff on there, and you would never know. Because a price, you know, it's like, it's not like buying food at the store. When you pick up a gallon of milk, you're like, yeah, I'm buying milk. It's a dollar fifty. When you go to the doctor, it's this like weird mix of like, okay, a thing happened, a service happened, but also there's parts of that service. So like, yeah, if you needed a band aid or if you needed, uh, I don't know, like some kind of drink or like fucking whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, you're getting, you're mixing both a service and a product at the same time, and so. Because and and because there's no clear fixed price, right? It's all based on like, well, whatever was needed. It's not like you go to an auto shop and he's like, I need my car filter replaced. Like, all right, that's going to be like, you know, two fifty for the filter, and then it's a hundred dollars for us to fix it or to put it in. Okay, fine. I get where the cost breakdown here is, but hospitals don't have to do that. Hospitals just say like, come on in. Now it costs this much. And you're like, what the fuck happened? What am I paying for? The visit is the whole visit this much money, or was there like things in the visit that cost a lot of money? What what transpired? No one comes up and says like, by the way, I want to do a thing, but it's going to cost you like $80. Is that okay? No one asks for your permission to do things, uh, but they will definitely bill you the maximum amount. You spend the whole time weirdly it's, afraid. Of like what's going to happen? Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to <laughs> say I once spent the you entire, to doctor. Yeah. I once spent the entire day uh, in the emergency room for tests and whatnot. And like, then I just left at the end and it was genuinely like, did I shoplift or like, <laughs> did they forget? <laughs> Am I going to get something in the mail later? Like I, for the next month, yeah, I was yeah. stressed out that like I had some kind of expense that I didn't know about, but it never came. And I was just so confused because I'm just, I'm just ready for the reality where no one's, re- no, people just constantly get charged without consenting for being charged for things in the medical industry, up, especially fucking ambulances being like an actual, like, like debt sentence like a fucking nightmare if you get if you're carried anywhere in an ambulance like there's just so many uncertainties that you can't tell what's happening and people like the the system benefits from just like neglecting to mention to you even that you're going to be charged and just like racking up prices for you and then just dumping on you at the end when you can't do anything about it besides like challenge them in court or something it's a nightmare. Yep. But anyway, we're super it's over time, and, and Andrew needs to Andrew needs time because <laughs> we we need to be ready for the stream <laughs> and everything later. So see you guys next time. This was video games.
We video games. <laughs> and this was video games. <laughs> this was, this video, was video games. games. This is fucking spoiler alert. Silk Song still seems like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe one day we'll know if it is or not. Uh. See you guys next time. Bye. Goodbye.